get it? Yeah. We are in here, and of course, uh, the first things first, I forgot my, uh, my What are you gonna do? Yeah. Yeah. What is going on this week? How we doing? We are just a little bit late tonight. Uh, the reason for that is... We oh yeah, they might waited. notice that the back of this is different than <coughs> what it normally looks like. We've got a big old, like, advertisement for Toshiba, <clears throat> right? Yeah. Right on the bag there. They don't see up it. On the, they don't uh, see the uh, top half. I was viewing the uh, the stream. You can see it uh, on the stream, because I saw it in there when I was watching. Oh, you know what? Look, watching look, us. look, look, look. Right, if you expand that. Right, right, right. So it's like a big old plug for uh Oh, we're sponsored Toshiba. by Toshiba now. So, uh, yeah. Anyways, we uh, waited until Toshiba the... Toshiba sounds like a skin disease. Toshiba. I don't get it. Sounds like a dog. Liverpool. Skin disease. Oh. Uh, yeah. How about that? Motherfucker was How pissed. about that? You think we're in a bad mood right now? That motherfucker was pissed. Vince McMahon, uh, something happened at the uh, that the WWE SmackDown tapings earlier today, and I feel like Vince we're way back now. Vince was not a happy camper. We will uh, we'll get into that here in just a, a little bit. Um, SmackDown's already been taped, similar to Raw. Yesterday, uh, it's taped in the afternoon for you guys in the United States. Uh, Liverpool's on about a five-hour delay over there. So, well, it's two, three o'clock in the afternoon over here in the United States on the East Coast. It's seven, eight o'clock over there uh, in Liverpool. So you got the squeaky chair. It's, we didn't it's a guarantee. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um. So, anyways, um, yeah, we uh, we waited until the last minute to test some production equipment. Here, uh, a brand new uh, production system it might be a little bit more clear. The problem is, is there's a green tint that I noticed. Yeah. It was kind it's of like, uh, like it's a little smoke bit green air, but it's green smoke. Right, it looks like. And we didn't have a, a chance to reset our backdrop, this cheesy ass backdrop yeah. that we have. A bunch of t-shirts, some uh, type. <laughs> <laughs> so we didn't have a chance to to do all this because we waited in the last minute. What we need to do now is tweak some of these settings, the bit rates and things yeah, like we that. We gotta take a day and screw around. With it. <coughs> probably make it a lot clearer. Right. Like Absolutely. A lot, a lot. Yeah. A lot clearer. A lot. Like the audio more clear, video more clear. And without this lag, when we that's what we were trying to get rid of. But we need to play around with the bit rate, like I said, and uh, we'll we'll be able to uh, to fix that uh, because this production computer is a lot faster Way than this piece of shit right here. Yeah, and it's sad uh, too because this is. Uh, plugged directly into the internet. That's right. running off Wi-Fi, mm. and that's better. I know, um, I know. This is just virus-filled and everything yeah. else. You know what I mean? That's so, a shit. Um, I mean, so, anyways, okay. uh, over the next deal with uh, just kind of deal with the you know over on the side, a there, white space mm, over there, the white space and everything else, and the green tint this week and uh, next week we'll have everything. Did hopefully, you see the green we'll tint when you were watching it in there? Yes, I did. I thought it maybe it's the screen. No, it looked kind of greenish. It okay. looked kind of greenish in there, but we can uh, we can tweak those settings and uh, and we'll work on that for uh, for next week. So that so is you know the uh, the reason why we're a little bit late. What's that? Maybe if we clean that up a little bit, you know? Yeah, it could be that. That may work a little bit. We should have done that before we came on the air, but what yeah. are you going to do? Anyways, um, we'll, uh, actually that's better. A little bit better, right? It's a little bit better, yeah. We'll, uh, we'll work to, uh, improve everything for, uh, for next Tuesday night. By the way. That's a good story. It is, uh, oh, yeah. Whew. Um, I'll rip your fucking head off and shit down shit your throat. Shit down your neck. And neck. you know what? Right. You know what? Went and uh, started a Facebook page well, we and a petition and everything else. Yeah. We'll get into it. But um, so anyways, that's the reason why we're late. By the way, it's good to be back here. Um, for the last couple of weeks, we've been kind of hit or miss here. You guys have been getting pissed yeah. off at us. Uh, we did an audio I was show. Say we gave him a freebie the other day. We gave him an audio did you show. Ever put the archive on, up? on no, I didn't. Oh. On uh, on Thursday or Friday, Wednesday or Thursday of uh, of last we week. Started football, so it was Thursday. Yeah, we did some audio and uh, we talked about the network numbers in the UK. Uh, a lot of people in the UK pissed off. Speaking of pissed off, Vince McMahon uh, pissed <sighs> off. So. Oh, <laughs> one other thing. Yes. We're not going to be able to take phone calls tonight. Jackie, I'm sorry. I know you were oh, tweeting me. Poor Jackie. Uh, we cannot take phone calls tonight um, due to the fact that we waited until the last minute, once again, to get everything set up. So we're not going to do it on purpose. We had to calls. cover the tapings, and there's been a bunch of fucking news. 
Right. Yeah, right. Especially if you cover MMA. It's just insanity. Chael, uh, someone signed That's with the main ESPN. One. Yeah, he signed right. with ESPN, and yeah. uh, so he's going to be their official like MMA analyst for ESPN. How about my boy Shogun getting KO'd in thirty seconds. Thirty-four seconds. Yeah, yeah. He got he's talking about moving down to middleweight now too. Really? Yeah. Well, let's talk of him retiring. Well, not not How old do you think he is? not not from him. <clears throat> Shogun? Yeah. Um, he's been fighting since two thousand. I don't think he's, he's been fighting twelve years. I'll give I you don't that. think he's forty yet. I think he's about thirty. Seven or thirty-eight. That man's thirty-two years old. Thirty-two? Yeah. Are you serious? He's been fighting for twelve years. He's thirty-two years old. So he started when he was twenty. Yep. All right. So wow. He, he looks a lot older than thirty-two, man. He's been through some. I mean, you've. That's why you love him so much. He's yeah. Been through some palacious wars. So he's not the normal thirty-two-year-old person. Wow. He's thirty-two, yeah. and and the media, not Shogun himself. Well, but no, the even media Shogun kind of like said, "I got to kind of talk to my team and like think so about the up? future." Yeah. 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 So. Yeah. yeah. And, and Michael Bisping got Bisping knocked got, out. He got choked out. Or choked out. He got knocked out. down and then choked out. Good. By uh, Luke Rockhold. Yeah. And I said, I said, if, you know, if, I got to pick Bisping, but... If you want to see and learn how the finish of that fight happened, mm -hmm. sorry to do it, man. You can go to MMANews.com <laughs> and a CM Punk will walk you through it. Ah, the Gracie yeah. uh, breakdown. Gracie breakdown, yeah. Gracie breakdown. Henner and Hiron. Right. Uh, Henner married to Eve Torres. Yep. Yep. Uh, Triple H and Stephanie trained with them. Lucky dude. Yeah. Lucky dude. That Henner. They're Gracie. actually really cool guys, too. If you listen to them, how they many make jujitsu sound real fun. Yeah. Like, you can tell they love it, and they're really like good at explaining how to do... How many know? members of the Gracie family oh, Christ. are there? Fucking 50? forget about it. it 50? Easy. Now, yeah. how many of them are really... Legitimately, blood they're politics. all into fighting, though. That all of them. A Every lot of them are fake. Them. Like, like a little known, not a little known fact, but uh, like if you're a real MMA fan, you know this. But in the early days, Vitor Belfort was called Victor Gracie. Was he when he first came to the really? UFC? Yeah, because he trained with the uh, the Gracie people uh, early in his career. So he was like an honorary Gracie member. And there's a lot of those. So not everybody's literally legitimately a Gracie. Yeah, but yeah. they take the name and you know. Yeah. All right, no doubt. Um, hey, what do you think? I'm doing the. You're doing uh, it. I, I couldn't. I couldn't I stick with it. I can't stand it, bro. I don't like it. I get too itchy. I lay down yeah. at night. I put my head on the yep. pillow and it's like, ah, it's, like, yeah, 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 it's fucking terrible. I couldn't do it. But anyways, it's for a good cause, and I'm doing it, and I'm going all the way, and I got a pretty goddamn good start. Pretty there. thick this time. It's pretty last thick. year. It wasn't so much. It wasn't that? Year, it wasn't yeah. that good, right? Especially right here, you could grow a badass goatee and yeah. take this shit off. Yeah. It is coming along nicely. Although, I did have five or six days before the month started, and I yeah. just kind of tacked that on. It was pretty much so. just laziness that went into, oh, now i got an excuse. Not yeah, 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 exactly. I was going to do it too, but I couldn't, I couldn't stand it. So I'm going to the end of the month with this beard. It's going to continue to grow, uh, obviously, week after week. So you guys are going to see me every week. And the we'll evolution see, of the beard. We'll see how this... Uh, on this big fat face of a mug that I got. <laughs> I was gonna say, my, now that we're so big, far back, fat cheeks with the new camera angle. And I stuff, like it. I was gonna say, you probably love it. He I hates when it. the camera's too close to his face. I love it. He doesn't like the it. big chubby cheeks. Here. Yeah. Uh, anyways, we look um, super fucking white on here too. We are white. Hey, we haven't had it when we work online. I got the tan going, but you can't hey. see on the camera there. I'm Native yeah. American Italian, so I'm naturally dark. By the way, but yeah, a big. Cold front. Hey, Dude, we're gonna be talking about snow. Oh, we're gonna be we're gonna be doing weather reports and everything every else. Week. It's uh, coming. At least I can There's take a nap on the show every week. I'm watching a coastal storm. I'm watching a coastal storm Sunday night into Monday. New York City, Boston, Albany, that area. There's a coastal something wants to something wants to form on the coast on Sunday night going into Monday. Not only that, but a big cold swath is sweeping. A swath. Sweeping through the no. United States. I'm talking in Texas. They're going to be 20 to 30 degrees below their average in temperature. Texas? Oh, oh, oh yes. below their average temperature. Yes. Oh, they're going to say below zero. Yes. That's not possible. It's going to get cold throughout the entire, you know, North America. I don't get it. Why do they, call America. Why do they say Boone equals Seamus Jr.? Shame because you're white. Oh, real white. Okay, Very white. Gotcha. Yeah, I do look super fucking white on here. I don't like Why that. Why can't I be the Seamus? He can be like the page or something like that. You know what I mean? You can be the girl. I am as pretty as a girl, so I mean, it works You out. are as pretty <laughs> as a girl. Listen to this guy. <laughs> All right, you know, anyways. You know whose line that is? Uh, whose line is it anyways? It's a TV no, show. You know whose line I'm as pretty as a girl is? No. Muhammad Ali, my oh, yeah. hero. Yeah. He said, uh, he said, I've had... Uh, whatever the numbers are, I'll just make it up. I've had 14 amateur fights, 35 professional fights, and I'm still pretty as a girl. <laughs> he wipes his face and shit. I mean, I'm still pretty as a girl. Mm. 
He's uh. Mm, he's I forgot about that video. <laughs> crazy amount of snow. <laughs> what is it? This Look is, at this. It's nuts. This is nuts. This it's is unbelievable. Crazy. That's it's unbelievable. It. Unbelievable. This is crazy. It's unbelievable. <laughs> this is nuts. Who's the guy that did the parody? That was the greatest thing I've ever seen. It wasn't funny. Who was that? It guy? wasn't funny. I know he's a Lions fan. I can't remember his name. It, it was wasn't so funny. funny. Probably John Morgan or Lance Winter or no, something no, no, like that. No, it was like yeah. a little more ob obscure kind of a guy. Wasn't he's, funny. He's a real fan. Though. Hey, the Grumpy Cat's coming to uh, Raw next yeah. week. Grumpy Cat. I don't even know what it you is. You know the Grumpy Cat followed me on Twitter today? Did it? You know what? Grumpy yeah, Cat yeah. has Twitter? It's got 46,000 followers. He doesn't have any thumbs. How does he got 46,000 followers. All right. Grumpy Cat on Twitter. I went in there today, and you know how it says, this person followed you? Yeah, yeah. I had five new followers, and the Grumpy Cat was one of them. I said, the Grumpy Cat? I went to the account, and it had 46,000 people. Don't be a son of a bitch. Son You're of a talking bitch. about Twitter. I don't know why you don't do this. And I'm going to out you right here on the live on the air. Mm, right. He's this guy. Has a standing offer. To appear as a guest... I want to. I need to contact On Roddy him. Piper's Piper's Pit Podcast. The man contacted him and said, I would love to have you as a guest one week. He could be the guest on Piper's Pit. He's a good guy. I'm going to do that. If it was Absolutely. me, I'd have jumped right the fuck in. Absolutely, I want to do you that. You want me to do it and pretend I'm Ryan Clark? You don't have to do that. All right. I cannot. If you get gunshot, you, you might get a little nervous. I'm, I wouldn't get nervous. Roddy, Roddy and I, pants, Roddy and I had a past issue them. over yeah. a backstage story, and ever since then, we buried the hatchet, and everything has Dude, been love awesome. Him. He yeah. is awesome. He puts you me. over like all the time. He tweets me all the time, and he's best says, you know, reporter on the internet. He, is, he is awesome, man. <laughs> Roddy. Uh, from from something that started out so negative, uh, and and we turned it around, went back and forth on Twitter, and we eventually wound up talking and going back and forth through DMs and everything else. Yeah. And uh, he's left your voice worked it out too. Yeah, yeah. It, he's he's such a nice guy. You know, he's just a little bit. He's my hero. Him and uh, Muhammad he's Ali are probably like my two. A, he's such a nice guy. Howard Stern. Those are like right. the icons of my childhood. He's going to be teaming up with uh, his son, Colt. Yeah, um, they're going to do a tag team match yeah. Yeah, at some point. Supposedly it's his big last retirement match. Now you say next year. Yeah. We're only like a month and a half away from next yeah. year. Oh, yeah, yeah. today's 11-11. Yeah. That's right. Is it? 11-11-14. It, it was a big 11-11 announcement at 11 this morning. GF Dub. Oh, GFW. Yeah. yeah. What do you think about that? I'll tell you right now. I've got the audio on this computer. I can actually bring it up and play it, but I don't think my boss would like that too much. I've got it because uh, I have to I'll transcribe it. We interviewed Jim Ross for MMAnews.com, and during the interview... Let me say something. Yeah. Didn't he specifically That's what did I'm not... Say. Okay. He, uh, not. He, in the interview, he straight up... We asked him because it was rumors that he might, you know... Do the uh, commentary for the U.S. broadcast of Tokyo Dome Show, mm -hmm. uh, the New Japan's big Tokyo Dome Show, right? Just kind of like their WrestleMania, their big, uh, big event of the year. Mm -hmm. And uh, there was rumors that he would handle the uh, American commentary for the Global uh, Force Wrestling. They're going to distribute it in America. They're basically they the promoters of the New Japan pay per view, like a co-part, like right. yeah, something right. like that. But um, but anyways, so there were rumors. But anyways, he he, we asked him about the rumors, and he said, well, we asked him if he was interested. That's what it was, and he said, oh, I'd love it. This and that, blah 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 blah. blah. And then, like, he comes out the next day and flat out the night, he says, I've never said I'm interested in this and that. I've never talked about blah, 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 blah. He said he that he had, lied. He said that he had <clears throat> not talked with I anyone. I got the audio as proof. He said that he had <clears throat> not talked with anyone in Japan. Uh, he had no plans to announce overseas in Japan. Nothing. He wanted nothing to do with overseas and announcing in Japan. And then, you know, GF, GFW, Global Force Wrestling, came out yesterday and said, you know, we're going to make a big announcement today at 11 a.m. Sure enough, they sent out a press release that says Jim Ross is going to be commentating um, the New Japan Pro Wrestling. Wrestle Kingdom 9 is, uh, is what they're calling it. Um... The thing with this is everybody, somebody asked me on Twitter today and said, what do you think about this? You know, what do you think about Jim Ross and Global Force Wrestling? There really is no Global Force Wrestling. And somebody replied to the thread and said, when they have a ring, when they have talent, and when they have a TV deal, talk to me about Global Force Wrestling. Yeah. But in the meantime, there's no talent, there's no ring, there's no promotion, there's no television deal. There's nothing. It's an so, idea. So what is GFW? Yeah. GFW is just a, a company. It's almost... I, I, where are they going with this? Are they are they going to announce something on the New Japan Pro Wrestling pay-per-view that says, hey, 
This is our promotion. Here's our talent. This is what we're going to do. The entire New Japan Wrestling roster is going to be the GFW roster as well. Something I, no. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, uh, they've scouted talent all over the world. Jared has. Mm-hmm. They did the, uh, uh, what do they call it? The Journey? Something. something. Join the Journey. The fur- Join the, journey. the Force. No, that's like their model. Or whatever. But they have the jor- the Journey uh, web <laughs> series. It's like a reality show. Okay, I know what like you're talking Following about. the build-up of this Global Force Wrestling, which doesn't exist yet, like you said. But they've done those. They've scouted talent. They're negotiating with TV deals and uh, financial partners to support the company and invest in the company. <laughs> but, uh, yeah... As of right now, they don't exist yet. They haven't. They don't. They don't have a date on the calendar for a show. I mean, this is their first foray into actually doing anything, which is co-promoting right. the U.S. version of the Tokyo Dome show for you know, New Japan. Right. Right. There's. Uh, there's just. There's. There's nothing. Um, no. No real promotion right now, except for like Boone said, the uh, the cross promoting of um, whatever. Are, are we on Wi-Fi? I think we're on Wi-Fi here. Right? Not on my computer. Oh, all right. All right. Fucking cord here. Pull it. What? What's the matter? This cord right here. Pull right that here? fucker away from me. Yeah. Oh, pull, pull it away. There you go. Go, 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 go. Oh. I'm pull it out. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I gotcha. All right. No <laughs> doubt. Um, so anyways, are we going to have to redo the uh, the chat room and everything else? Yeah, fucking thing. No, that should be good. Oh. Okay. Should be. Anyways. Um, all right. Let's get these plugs out of the way, and then we will get into it. Monday Night Raw from last night, which was taped from the UK. You actually didn't have to do any play-by-play, so you kind of came in with me, and we watched the show together. So, you know, I knew we were going to talk about Raw, but I didn't know. We were playing I, with Jake the whole time. I know. We were wrestling around with uh, his nephew. Right, right. For, like, the whole show. So. Do you mind if I switch that? Show? I would love it, man. Let's I hate this fuck. Let's do it. Excuse us tonight. We're a little bit on the... Uh, unprofessionally. Uh, uh, very un- unprofessional. Here, you take this one and I'll take the one from over here. I mean, that was, that was just a little bit ridiculous. It's insane! <laughs> right? That was a little bit ridiculous. This one squeaks too, but not as bad. Alright, I can deal with that one. I mean, the other one was just atrocious. Sanity. <laughs> anyway, so let's get the plugs out of the way. The official home of WZR TV Tuesdays. <clears throat> WZRonline.com. We are on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube as well. Go to Facebook.com slash WZRArmy, YouTube.com slash WZRArchive, and we're on Twitter as well. Just go to WZRonline.com, top navigation bar, social media tab, drop down menu. It's got all the links to Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube. WZRonline.com, the official home of WZR TV. Tuesdays. Somebody's in the chat room under Ryan Clark. That is not me, but That was way. me. I just oh. tested to make sure it was Oh, right. I got you. Okay. Um, I was going to say, how, are they, how do they have my username? In they there? don't. But, uh, all right. So, anyways, check out WZROnline.com. Uh, the live chat room on and in progress. Lots and lots of people in there. As always, tonight, you can get there by going to www.wzronline.com. Motherfucker.com. Slash chat. WZROnline.com slash chat. Get in there. Lots and lots of people in there as always tonight. Because we can't take uh, your live phone calls, we will do a rapid fire here in our numero dos. Am I logged in Facebook or... Uh, I'm on my account, account, but it's on your page. Okay. So you can look at the I rapid gotcha. fire and stuff. I gotcha. All right, we'll put that up uh, when we go to a commercial break here in just a couple of minutes. Come back on the flip side and uh, finish up Monday Night Raw, what we do and don't get through, and uh, do your rapid fire questions as well. The big, big news. Man, if you're keeping track of every time we hit a beer. Drink number seven. Oh, are they? Yeah. Man, I've had seven gulps already. <laughs> the uh, what's what's been the big news over the uh, the past week? Zach Ryder underwent uh, surgery big today. News. Um. I'll tell you what. We'll save news for hour number two. Let's just do... We'll do the high points and the low points of Raw. We're not going to go second. Raw was the Ryback show, is what it was. It was. And it was all about, as well. I didn't read the spoilers. I posted them. Yeah. And I wrote them, too, so I don't know how... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember now. Ryback, main event. You yeah, know yeah, yeah. what I mean? It Kane was... Uh, yeah. Well, basically what happened is Ryback came out, or John Cena, the authority, opened things up with that whole, you know, promo. Cena was good in his role last night. Basically said that anybody who tries to cross the authority winds up up getting their ass whooped, right? Dolph Ziggler got taken down, Randy Orton got taken down by the other, Zack Ryder, even though Ryder was... Ryder got taken down by Rusev. Right, right. Um, so anybody anybody that has a problem with the authority, they are just dominating, and you don't want to be against the authority. That's what they well, warned, too. They said anybody who, you know, tries to help Cena or join his team, you're going to have to, you know, answer to the authority or whatever. Answer to the authority, Because right. the stipulation, if you recall, Vince came out 
last week on Raw and said yes. that uh, if the authority, if Team Authority loses at Survivor Series, then the Authority loses control of the WWE. They no longer run the show. Right. right. Which makes me wonder why Triple H isn't part of Team Authority. Like, if their asses are on the line, don't you think he would be the, like, let me take matters into my own hands? Absolutely. I wrote about that in one of my columns today. Yeah, like, I don't understand why he wouldn't be part of the team if the, if the stakes are that high. Right, right, right. It would make sense, you yeah. know. Uh, but they save Triple H's, you know, those matches for, like, special occasions. Yeah. Like, like you know, WrestleMania against The Rock. Right. When Something the same like stipulation that. happens. You know, right, if right. If they lose, they don't control. Right. <laughs> so, anyways, uh, uh, we've got... Who do we have? We've got Dolph Ziggler, John Cena, and who am I missing? we got the whole team uh, now for Cena. Okay. we got uh, Cena, Cena, Ziggler, Ziggler Big, Show, Big Show, Sheamus... Seamus and I thought there was one person. Oh, that's on Team Authority. And then uh, okay, fuck, we did this last night. Not Orton. Orton's not confirmed for no. anybody. Um, Son of a bitch. Uh, it's not Rusev's a baby or a uh, a heel. Okay. Um, I don't know. I don't know. And we know that uh, over on Team Authority is uh, we've got uh, Mark Henry is going to be a part. Uh, Team Rusev. Authority is Seth Rollins, Kane, Mark Henry, and Rusev. And Ryback with rumor, but not anymore, I guess. Who are we forgetting, guys? I'll get it, I'll get it right uh, now. Team, uh, team uh, uh, Jack Swagger? Yes, Jack Swagger. Jack Swagger. That's it. Okay, all right, no doubt. Uh, JWS. So remember, even Triple H like, mocked him in the opener. Like, yeah, and yeah. you got Jack Swagger. <laughs> right, right. Like, God damn, that seem like a job. What about the backstage <laughs> segment where Triple H is with uh, Ziggler and Cena, and he starts uh, starts singing, Another one bites the dust. Yeah, yeah. Another one bites the dust, right? That was our He was having a good old time. But, uh, I, I mean, they kind of, I mean, Triple H has been known to bury people, right? And to his credit, the previous week on Raw, he said something along the or something about Dolph Ziggler where he says, don't get me wrong, Dolph Ziggler is a great wrestler, probably one of the hardest working guys well, wasn't in that when he was kissing Ziggler's ass trying to get him to join his team? Right, so That's right. what he was talking good so about. He, so he did, he did put him over there, yeah, the back, but the following week, it's yeah. like, boom. You, well, back in the day, you said Triple H has a history of burying towels and shit, which... Made sense when he was a performer, because mm-hmm. he's competing with these guys. Right. Now he runs the show. He's got no reason to bury his no own talent. To bury. They're his talent. Why are you going to you know? bury your own guys? That's retarded. You know? Well, and you know what else? Uh, Cena brought that up. You know, Triple H said something last night, and Cena said he said the same thing about Daniel Bryan. Daniel Bryan wasn't going to be anything. Oh, he yeah. was no good. He Solid wasn't going to be a main player eventer. Player Next thing again. you know, you yeah. got 15,000 people doing the yes, yes, yes chants, and, and look at him. Yeah. Look and at him now. Triple H said, well, where is he now? Where is he now? Right. Yeah. right. Yeah. Sitting at home on a couch, not doing anything. So that was a good comeback line by uh, a good comeback line, but again, you're burying one you're of your top guys. Why the fuck would you do that? It's I could t- and now if there is a program in mind with when Dana Bryan is back, that makes sense because if you're gonna you bury somebody you're gonna work with, right? But if you're not working with them and there's no plans to work with them, why do you keep burying them? That's not gonna help anybody. Yeah, yeah. <sighs> no, you're. Uh, it, I, I don't know. I, uh, it, I'm some glad things, you caught yourself. There. Some things don't make sense. He almost said you're right. Like, that needs to be said. I'm always oh, right. you're always right. Get out of here. <laughs> anyway, so that was the opening segment of, of Raw, pretty much. Is, uh, a whole oh, you skipped the most important that. part. Oh, where they tried to uh, recruit... Oh, oh, Ryback. Oh, oh, Ryback. Ryback. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, he <clears throat> turned, but... Well, as far as you're concerned, we knew if we're doing Raw in order, he turned. Well, By he, the end of the show, we've come to find out that he's just... He doesn't give a fuck he about don't anybody. Yeah. He doesn't care. Who, somebody played that, I, I brought his name up uh, last night to you when we were watching it, and I said, he's got a similar gimmick to a guy that isn't taking sides, he, he doesn't, I'm not taking sides, Oh yeah, yeah. I, don't uh, remember. I can't remember who it was, but, uh, and that's where Ryback stands right now, is everybody booed the hell out of Ryback. Well, they cheered the hell out of him at first. Cheered the hell out of him yeah. because he's been a baby face over the last couple of weeks. That made me wonder if that was an edited boo because they were fucking way into him and they were booing the shit out of Cena. So why, right, when right. he, the guy that they love, just beat up the guy that they hate and they say boo? If they it hate the guy and the guy they love beats him up, shouldn't they be like, yeah, fuck Cena? You it was know? probably edited. Had in. Been. You're probably there were right. some blatant edits too. There they was even, some blatant edits. They edited out the "Where's Our Network" chance and all that. They shit. didn't. They no, did. the "Where's Our you Network." Said you heard it. They, yes, I didn't hear it. absolutely. I heard right. it multiple times during the show last night. I didn't night. catch it. "Where's Our Network"? It happened about three different times during yeah. last night. Very audible too. But anyways, um, but there there were some clearly where you hear like boo. 
Ooh, they would and chop it, in stuff. Yeah, like yeah. they would have a cheer for, and then you look at the people in the crowd, and they're just, they're sitting on their hands. They're right, not right, right. <laughs> exactly, yeah. right. Um, so, anyways, that was the opening segment, and then we got to the end of Raw, and I guess we'll skip right there, and then we'll kind of go back in the middle. But at the end of the Raw, like you said, uh, Ryback wound up not taking sides, and mm-hmm. uh, they showed him. Wasn't it? You've got wasn't it right here. I don't know why. Wasn't it something backstage? There's something backstage to... Uh, with what? I don't know what you're With talking. Ryback. About... With Ryback. What about him backstage? It was... Uh, well, Dolph Ziggler, at the end of Raw last night, Dolph Ziggler was beaten down, right? And uh, Luke Harper comes out and uh, said that if the authority needed a team player, he was their guy. And that's kind of how Monday Night Raw went off the air. So it looks like Luke Harper is uh, is going to join. Uh, and by the way, the main event of Raw last night was John Cena against Ryback because the Authority had set that up in the opening segment um, of of Raw last night. I'm trying to f- find it here. Uh, by the way, after Raw last night, you and I both watched the ECW Exposed special. Yeah, and as, I actually got this that, fucking guy. Yeah, I was gonna say after that. that, right? He <clears throat> says, "Dude, the network's free. You got to sign up. Yeah. I sign up for the network. I go in there, right?" And you're kind of showing me around where mm-hmm. they've got the video vault and they've got the history of ECW and everything. The original specials and all that. Yeah. I gotta tell you, it's the first time I really looked around on the network last night. There is a lot of content, uh, and we watched the was the Monday Night War, the Monday Night War uh, with the episode Steve with Austin, Austin yeah. with uh, Stone Cold. Steve Which I Austin. should have picked a different one to make. Are you ever? Uh, I gotta tell you, but it's stuff that you've already seen. Like the same clips. Yeah, uh, what? I just whooped your ass. Always oh, stung McMahon. Like shit that we've seen a thousand times. I gotta get you to watch one where you'll see stuff that either you have never seen before or that you forgot. And then they tell you the behind the scenes, their version, obviously. A lot of that shit's bullshit. Right. But I was up until 2 o'clock in the morning watching that, dude. And that was an <clears throat> awesome, awesome special that they had last yeah. night. Uh, I was just watching uh, earlier today. I haven't finished it yet. I got to finish it still. Uh, they have another documentary series, series called uh, Rivalries. Right, right, right. The first two were on Austin McMahon. You'd love that. You would. Lo- that's what you should watch. Because yeah. you're like, Austin, those are way, way in depth. They show the beer truck and everything they else. They show everything. Right. And they tell everything. They show Austin walking out. They talk they, about they that, cover that in depth Literally. on the part two of it. Yeah, big time they? they cover they? it. Yeah, yeah. 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 But uh, the newest one is uh, WWE rivalries. It's Dusty Rhodes and Ric Flair. And Ric Flair. And Ric Flair. I'm <laughs> loving it. So are you? It's yeah. so good. Those are your two guys too. Those Roddy Piper, awesome. Dusty Rhodes, and Ric Flair are this guy's. Three. There's a part in Ricky Steamboat yeah. and Jake Roberts. I got a million right. favorites. Tito right. Santana. You know. Right. What else happened on Raw? We'll kind of skim through here. I guess we'll go back up to the top and uh, and kind of run it down here. But we had uh, oh, there Here's was your, a, uh, there was a victory celebration uh, for uh, for Rusev. The, the uh, Kane and Ryback thing. That's what you're talking about backstage, right? Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, Kane uh, basically told Ryback that uh, his job tonight was to prove himself yeah. to the authority, and that's where Ryback kind of stood there with a look like, okay. Yeah, uh-huh. he really had his head. Okay, <laughs> right, <laughs> yeah. right. It's kind of agreeing, right? Um, and that's where you got the sign that Ryback wasn't going to take sides by the yeah. end of Raw. You kind of knew nobody's going to tell him what to do. Exactly, right. exactly. Uh, I, I've said it time and time again. I think Ryback, with the right push, which granted they're giving him now, they're doing it right this time. Could be a mega star for the. Well, future. we talked about that uh, uh, on the audio show we did when they had that run where he was undefeated still. Mm-hmm. He was super over. The Feed Me More chants, everybody was doing those. He'd get huge right. pops. He was and really becoming a top guy. He had the undefeated streak. They go into Hell in a Cell mm-hmm. 2012. And I know that because I wrote a column about it. But uh, Hell in a Cell 2012, they had Ryback, undefeated Ryback versus CM Punk, who was in the middle of his record length uh, title reign. Mm-hmm. And they booked themselves in a the corner. Because they yeah. weren't going to take the title off Punk, so what they had to do was end his undefeated streak, and that was the beginning of the end. Because after that, it was right. You know, he became the bully character, then he became part of Right Axel. Well, and I remember, team. I remember him and Cena specifically. Whether it was on a pay per view, it may have been a Raw. I think it was a pay per view, but they were on top of an ambulance, and yeah, Cena yeah, yeah, gave yeah. the fu through the top of the ambulance, Correct. which was obviously rigged. But or was it a shell shock through the? Ambulance? It was one of the other, something like that. But, but, but back in those, I mean, it was like Ryback was working with CM. Punk, he's working with John he was Cena, a top guy. he's working with the top guys, and then all of a sudden, boom, that's it, 
You know? Got his legs cut uh-huh. off underneath. Yeah, absolutely. Wasn't there rumors too back then that he like said some shit? Kind of like the Ziggler thing where he spoke out but of But he term. said something and they didn't like the way that yeah. he conduct, conducted himself in media yeah, interviews. And I believe that's like what that. was. Right. Um, now they're getting it right. They're giving him another push. Yeah, He's absolutely. He's getting over like we're over again. Like, that's the test. When you go to England. Right. If you're right. over in England, mm-hmm. that means the real wrestling fans are behind you. Canada as well is Canada another is market another where, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If they're behind you, then or, you're over. And like there's Ziggler. places There's places in the United States you see that too. Chicago, New York City, a places great one. like that. Yeah. Uh, even L.A. You know, Detroit. L.A.'s got a Detroit as well. You know, crowds like that where they're just marks. They let marks you know who marks. they like. Right. Um, just kind of skim through here. We had uh, Seth Rollins defeated uh, Jack Swagger. Um, so we know that he's basically the star of Team Authority going into nothing. Yeah. He already wasn't. Maybe is match. Swagger injured and out of the match because they did the curb stomps at the end of the match and they had like doctors checking on Swagger and that whole thing. Speaking of the curb stomp, yeah. Uh, that's you know for we a talked PG, about that in the audience for a PG yeah. promo, right? Put your uh, fucking or, mouth for, on the curb, right? For a PG promotion. <laughs> When you think curb stomp, doesn't the first thing that comes to your mind American History X, right? Curb stomp. That's you know how I know I mean, for a fact it's the first thing that comes to people's minds. How's that? You don't even watch movies and it makes you think of a movie. I, so there I, you go. I've seen American History X. It's one of the yeah. very few movies. That awesome I've seen. fucking movie. Yeah, it's great. Edward Norton's a pimp oh, in that movie. The end where they're in the bathroom and he oh jeez, that's the little brother. Yeah, yeah. Edward Furlong. Oh my god, he was a little kid in Terminator Two. Yeah. Anyways. Uh, what else happened on Raw? We had the, uh, uh, there was uh, Ambrose and uh, Bray Wyatt. They were not at Raw last night, by the way. There was a, uh, a WWE live event. Yeah, they had a pre-tape. With uh, they did a pre-tape. Uh, now I don't know if they taped that in England at some point uh, somewhere, did, yeah. uh, or in, in Albany last uh, last Tuesday backstage, Could've. knowing that going in. I mean, we don't know where it was taped, but both of those guys were uh, were not at Raw last night and did not appear. You know, yeah, they had like they, they had did the, the, the pre-tape stuff. with Ambrose. They had some vignettes, like uh, like the Kevin Dunn specials, and right? All that shit, and a lot of the, the a lot of the thing about, uh, last night too was uh, Stephanie trying to recruit Rusev for the team, Rusev. and like kind of bossing Lena around backstage. Well, they started that you last scratch week. Scratch my back, and I'll scratch yours. And Didn't they start that last yeah. week? Stephanie came well, up the, to them. And Lena and Rusev were supposed to give them their answer. Give them the answer. Yeah, right, right, right. This week, so. Um, what else did we have? We had uh, talked about the Kane Ryback. Right off the top of my head, Paige defeated Alicia Fox. That was your Divas match. Very important. On, uh, I don't know. Well, I'm just saying that's your <laughs> diva. that was your Divas match. Well, this uh, isn't that week. important either, but it's funny because I got the hit the the message last night. I got the uh, what's the word I'm looking for? I can't. I'm fucking all fucked up today. Uh, I get the idea. I got the notion or something like that okay. last night that Eric Rowan's going to be like a jerk off comedy character now. Probably. He can't remember. He Probably. did the pretty with Renee Young, and then last night he came out, took the sheet mask off, and was like, "Where is she?" or whatever. All right. So listen. <clears throat> so so he's be like a douchebag comedy guy now. So I can see it now. There's a backstage segment next week. Okay. Bunny, grumpy and, cat. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Okay. And you just brought it up, right? <clears throat> You've got Luke Harper, right? Who's oh. doing the whole pretty? He's a sheep. The grumpy yeah. cat is a backstage, cat. and you've got Luke Harper comes up and he says. Pretty cat. Maybe. Pretty cat. And he pets her. It's going to be something ridiculous. And then, in addition to that, the whole pretty cat. Oh, you're a pretty cat. There was a reason that they said pretty last night with it Renee Young. Young. Yeah. No, last I'm week. thinking the grumpy cat's coming next week and we see a pretty cat. Pretty cat or something. I don't think so. <laughs> next week. And I not think only we'll that. see the bunny and the cat. The bunny, the rabbit, the but sheep. But the Rowan thing is him and Renee Young only. I don't think they'll don't. dip over. The, I don't think it's like his new thing is to just say pretty. Right. I think he's got a big crush on Renee Young, and that's the storyline. All right, all right, no doubt. Uh, God, it's like we have another Sam Shaw and Christy oh, Hemme. Oh, Christ, with the stalker. In TNA, that, yeah. right, where he's got a crush on Christy Hemme. And, what was and, it last night during Raw? Uh, <coughs> he's busy posting and shit, and I'm trying to, like, anytime something cool would happen on Raw, I'm like, yo, look, look, look. And uh, at one point, I'm like, yo, the bunny, the bunny's about to kill, the bunny's about to <laughs> He just started cracking up. <laughs> yeah, I turned around to Boone. Boone's in the background, like you said. He's going, the bunny, look at the bunny, he's about to drop it. Dude, I turned around. I said, do you hear yourself? <laughs> do you hear yourself? He's saying, the bunny's going to drop. Kick it up. <laughs> Douche chills, man. And you're uh, thinking, 
God, if we had friends over right That's one now, of those And things. I got food in my back ear mm-hmm. saying, the, I, the money's about the super kick. Oh, my God. Oh, man. It's one of those, like, I remember back in the day when you know, you'd watch wrestling and, like, if it was an Undertaker Kane segment. Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah, right? Your friend was over and, they're, and you're like, T- where Taker's cutting that promo where you're like, you will rest. Yeah, like, you even that's okay, but he'd be like, we're in the depths of hell. <laughs> Angels Six in the feet line. under, yeah. I'll bury you. Corny, right. cheesy right, shit. Right. And if your friends who don't watch wrestling aren't familiar with it, are familiar. Like, <laughs> this is what you're into, dude? And I used to always have to say, no, no, no. No, this I, is how I make money. I get paid. <laughs> I'm being paid to watch this. Trust me, I wouldn't watch it if I wasn't paid. Right. Which isn't true, because right. I would, and I have, but... We're going to be going uh, 10, 15 minutes. We'll come back, probably finish up by about 10 o'clock tonight, get you guys out of here on time tonight. If we have to go over, there's no SmackDown tapings, anything like that, so we can go over a little bit. Get to our live chat room, wzronline.com slash chat, wzronline.com slash chat. Get in there. Uh, lots and lots of people in there, as always, tonight. How are you doing in fantasy football, by the way? I'm doing all right. <coughs> are you? I won both games this uh, past weekend. Man, I lost, uh, <laughs> I lost in both leagues uh, this past weekend. And the Bills My lost. Bills lost. Yeah, so you, you lost both leagues. Bills lost. I Bills? won both leagues. Lions won. Mm, I had Bills. a good week. You had a bad week. The Lions were mm. crazy, like dude. The Dolphins, right? You won with about a minute left yeah. on the clock, man. You yeah, do that Matthew a lot. Stafford drove the entire... You do it all the time, man. Yeah, we do those last-second victories. Uh, Matthew Stafford yeah. drove down the field. Da-da-da-da-da-da. He's great at those, at those clutch he fucking... He's good. We got to drive the field. We got two yeah, minutes. One time good. out. He can do he's it, man. He's good, man. Uh, so, anyways, um, let's see here. We'll get back to uh, Ron's kind of doing Kansas City Chiefs. Okay. Are the Chiefs and, any good this year? They are pretty good. The Dolphins are good, right? They are good. The, the Bills looked good. It was... The Dolphins are good. The Dolphins yes. are good. So the Lions beat somebody. Okay. Right, right. It wasn't like and they beat a team that they should You know who beat. the Bills have this week? No. The Dolphins. Do they? Yeah. Thursday Dolphins. night. Thursday night. Two days from now, man. Where the, uh, the Buffalo Are you guys Bills. still with that rookie quarterback? Or are they... Uh, no, we, uh, we benched... Um, EJ um, Manuel. EJ Manuel yeah. and uh, our new starter is Kyle Orton. Remember oh, Kyle yeah, 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 Kyle Orton. Right. I think he's, he played he's for Detroit better. at once. No, he played for Chicago. Chicago. Yeah, yeah. Chicago. Okay. Jay Cutler. They need to bench Jay Cutler He plays Chicago. Chicago now, They right? need to bench They Jay benched, Cutler. uh, who was it? Geno Smith for Mark Sanchez, was it? Uh, Geno Smith no, for and Michael Vick. they got Michael Vick in now. Who was the Mark Sanchez? Who? Mark Sanchez was playing on Instead of who? Sunday, Monday night, last, last night. night. For uh, uh, last night's game was... The Eagles uh, or the Jets? The Eagles. The Eagles. The Eagles. Who's the Eagles starter? And I said that Nick Foles, Nick Foles. was the starter yeah, yeah, for, yeah. for the Eagles, but he must be hurt. He must be injured or something uh-huh. like that. But uh, Mark Sanchez was in there last night playing for the Eagles. Oh, so. Dirty Sanchez. Yeah, dirty Sanchez. Is he still banging Jessica Simpson? No, Jessica Simpson got married. Wasn't it Jessica Simpson married. hooked up with Mark Sanchez? No, it was... Uh, oh, who, who was Bimbo. Sanchez? Yeah, it was somebody. Jessica Simpson, no? No, it wasn't Jessica who was Sanchez banging? It was Jessica him. Simpson. No, it wasn't. Take to the chat. I don't know for sure. I just I could swear. Jessica was. Simpson was uh, was dating, or Mark Sanchez was dating one of the hot chicks. Man, it wasn't Jessica though. It wasn't Jessica. Come on, chat. Somebody Help in the chat out, room. Man. Help us out. Goddamn delay. But uh, Mark Sanchez was was dating a real hot celebrity chick. Tony Romo and, uh, was with Jessica Simpson, I guess. Yeah, Romo was with uh, Simpson. Simpson was dating Romo, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah no, we got that. Jessica no, Alba it wasn't Alba. Alba's been married to uh, Cash, something Cash, Cash Warren, Cash Warren, I think he's No name. idea. Cash, something about. like that. Anyways, um, alright, let's get back into it. Monday Night Raw from last night. We'll come back. Pretty much killed Raw, didn't we? Yeah, I mean, that's about it, right? Uh, Stephanie and Hunter, they're backstage. The Rusev thing. Talking about Vince's... Uh, all right, you know what? Let's let's talk about this. Okay. So, earlier today, WWE SmackDown taping. <laughs> all right? We're in Liverpool, England, Again. United yeah. Kingdom. Right, same arena as uh, last Dusty night. United Kingdom. The attendance... Where do we live? Last night. We live in Albany, New York, USA. Thank you. How about it? How about it? All right. So, anyways, uh, last night during Raw... Your post was 15 minutes? You didn't do a live now one? I did. It says in 15 minutes. No, you didn't refresh. Oh, oh, oh. How do I refresh? Can I refresh? Or you just hit F5. Oh. F5 refreshes? Mm -hmm. Does it? See? Right there. Anyways. um, All right. So, it wasn't Kate Upton. I don't remember who it was. 
Eva Longoria? It was Tony Romo and Jessica Simpson who was, I was thinking. No, about. Sanchez had a hot shot. I didn't, I didn't, yeah. Anyways. Well, I don't know if Sanchez did, didn't. So anyways, they're taping SmackDown in Liverpool, <laughs> England, UK. And the main event. And in main event, yeah. right? And last night during Raw, you heard all the Where's Our Network chants, yes. right? So today at the SmackDown, now of course Raw is live. Well, it's not live, but it was on tape delay last night. Yeah. So anyways, at the SmackDown tapings today, once again... Liverpool crowd, pretty much the same crowd as last night. Probably the same people. Starts chanting, where's our network? Well, that where's wasn't all. Network? You know that, right? There was more than just the where's our network that brought Vince out. No, but you brought it down. Tell, okay. tell it was, uh, the crowd was supposedly dead as fuck okay. for like the first however long until he came out. Actually, he came out after like the first or second segment. Okay. But they were dead as shit. And then they did the what's our, where's our network. So he comes out, Vince comes out. Yeah, Vince winds, up, Vince winds up coming yeah. out at the SmackDown thing. Yeah, at the top of the stage with the mic. Now, this wasn't taped for TV, as I understand it. Not so It's not going to be TV. part of the show this Friday. Not going to air. Yeah. So it he, was... He comes out, and he's like, "What? you guys are dead tonight. Come on, have some fun. He's telling them, have right, some fun, blah, right. blah, blah, blah. And then, yeah, the network thing pissed him off, so... The, I think what happened is Vince is sitting backstage in the grill position. Did you know that they sent... I'm sorry, that they, on the ring apron, did you put that post? Yeah, that? yeah. They blocked out the... They scratched out the network. Month or yeah, 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 the whole network plug. <clears throat> so, I think what happened today is Vince was in his usual spot in the grill position, um, and saw that this crowd was dead for SmackDown. Yep. And then that probably and he apologized for the network stuff again. That, that probably pisses him off a yeah. little bit. That the oh, crowd, no, dude, clearly he lost The crowd is dead. The crowd is dead. And then when the crowd does come alive, they chant, where's our network? Yes. Vince got up off that fucking chair. <laughs> got out of the grill position. Grabbed the microphone <laughs> and came out on stage and basically said... What the fuck is wrong with you guys tonight? <laughs> you guys in Liverpool, you're dead. This city sucks. He says you Liverpool suck. sounds like a skin disease. Sounds like a skin disease. Yeah. This, that, and the other thing. A pissed off Vince McMahon <laughs> because number one, I'm sure that was the best dead. part of the show too. I'm sure it was. <laughs> I'm sure it was. And uh, now you said that he didn't apologize today. No, he did today. He released a video. That was already happening, but yeah, he apologized today. He did come out and apologize to the fans yeah. today at the table. He just apologized. Like, it was a quick, like, I think so. I'm pretty sure I read that he was like, you know, I apologize. I'm sorry for the issues with the network here in the We're UK. trying to get it resolved, yeah. this, that, and the other thing. Well, they did, didn't they? We put the post up yesterday that I didn't read it yet. Well, Sky TV came out yesterday. That's uh, news. Tell them what the story is. The WWE a lot of Network, we have you, guys, from Europe. you guys know that yeah. November 3rd, it was supposed to launch in the uh, in the United Kingdom. Obviously, that didn't wind up happening about an hour, a couple of hours before it was supposed to launch. Uh, WWE comes out and says, ah, it's been delayed until yeah. further notice. Everybody starts contacting, and then the rumors came out that Sky TV and WWE were in negotiations, yeah. and Sky they were going to launch They were gonna yeah. launch the network on as a Sky TV channel. Like in Canada. Right. Or Similar yeah. to what Canada does. And then, all these people say, they start emailing Skype. Or not Sky. 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 Uh, Sky TV. They start emailing, and all these different advertising reps are getting back to these people, and they've all got a different reply. You've got one Sky TV rep saying, you know, uh, we're we're negotiating with WWE to make this a paid channel on Sky TV. Another guy comes out and responds to another fan and says, no, it's not on us. It's not our fault. We're not negotiating with yeah. WWE. This is there WWE. There conflicting things. So you've got all these Sky TV representatives saying different things, right? And uh, finally, yesterday, Sky TV sent out an email to their subscribers and said, listen, we are not negotiating for a pay channel only with WWE. Uh, this is on WWE's end. It's not on our end. Yeah. We don't know what to tell you. St basically, stop emailing. Yeah. It's not us. All right. And the and latest story was that it's going to be an over the top. It's going to be an online. It's going to be the same way we got in America. Yeah. In the UK. Yeah. It's not going to be a channel. It's not going to be a channel. Yeah. Uh, now that when is it coming out? Do we know yet? That's the thing. There's so, no, okay. so what is the issue? We've got Sky TV's email, right? But can you believe Sky TV? Can you believe them when they say, oh, look at Jim Ross. Look at people all the time. People come out and say, I'm not negotiating with New Japan Pro Wrestling, yeah. right? 
Sky TV were not negotiating. Well, it wasn't. With it was negotiating next, with Jerry. Next thing you know, yeah. next week, Sky TV and WWE come out with a joint statement and say, hey, it's going to be a pay channel. But who can you believe? You know, there are people time and time again that just because they say, like Jim Ross a couple of weeks ago, when we put up on the websites that Jim Ross was in talks to negotiate or was in talks to call the New Japan Pro Wrestling Wrestle Kingdom 9 uh, pay-per-view. Is that what it's called? Wrestle Kingdom? Wrestle Kingdom 9. Uh, you know, we put that up on the websites. You did an interview with Jim Ross. I'm not negotiating with, it. with it, New Japan Pro right. Wrestling. Next thing you know, Jim comes out and says, well, I'm not negotiating. So it's a case of who do you believe? Us? That we have on the websites? Or Jim Ross? And it turns out that he, they announced yesterday. So well, listen, man, you same. brought this up too with the lying and shit. That WWE is a public company with the shareholders. They've got shareholders. They've yeah. got investors that you know that own part. You know, buy, buy parts of the company. They cannot be lying blatantly the way they're doing it. And the repercussion and the you know the fallout from this is exactly what's happening, which is they're being investigated. By all these law firms. Like five or six. I don't only know of two or three, but yeah, there's a bunch of them, yeah, right? Yeah, And like, you had a great, uh, he was like going on a rant the other day, like, they can't do, they're going to really fuck themselves real bad. Like, you cannot lie, blatantly lie, especially if there's proof that you're lying, if it can be proved. Yeah. Or if it can be proven, I should say. I, I mean, if there's a lie that nobody can prove you on, mm -hmm. that's one thing. But to lie about stuff that there's actually paperwork and there, there's, you know, a way to find out if it's true or false, that's... Some serious shit when you're a public company and you've right. got investors and share. You cannot do that. And and WWE's doing it. WWE hasn't because given they're a used reason. to doing it through all these years. Before, especially before they were a public company, they're used to just doing whatever they want, saying whatever they want. Right. If in Vince's mind, WWE is his planet. He's the god of that planet. Vince is in and his own world. He can do and say whatever he wants because this is his world and he right. controls it. And who's gonna who's gonna tell God that he can't do something? As far as he's concerned, you know what I mean? But Absolutely. It, it, it's not his planet anymore. Yeah. You know yeah, what I mean? He's got crazy. investors and Shirley. you got to you got to answer to those people. Yeah, yeah. I, it, it'll be interesting. And then once every three it, months, you got to stand in front of them and say... You and know, the shareholders aren't going to be able to trust WWE when they say something. You can't take them on their that's word. That's a big deal. They go back, it's a huge deal. If you can't deal. trust them, then shit, it pretty much kills it. Like, you know what I mean? Anything they say, if you don't believe it because right. you don't trust them and you've lost their trust... You can say whatever you want. They're like, eh, who even knows if it's fucking real? He says right. shit all the time. That's not good. And and that's word spreads on Wall Street and big time in, in the stock market. Dude, it's people's else. money. You think people yeah. are, are, are you know nonchalant about their money? They take that shit dead serious. A lot of people that buy stocks invested <clears throat> recently, thinking that on November third, WWE stock is probably going to skyrocket when these numbers, at least in their mind. When the UK launches, yeah. and it's not going to happen, no. when it launches in the UK, but some of these people are under the belief that when the network launches in the United Kingdom, now's the time to buy stock. And now, we're at November 11th, and WWE still hasn't given the UK fans a reason why is it delayed. We, no, we don't know. It'd be There's funny been no statement from WWE. When's the next uh, conference call? That would be... It'd be January. January. Wait, and that would be November, quarter December, four. December, January. Yeah, yeah, okay. So maybe they... Because it's month to month now. There's no more six-month commitment. Well, they think they can wait till January. Maybe they wait till December to launch it in the UK because oh, everybody God. in the UK signs oh, up for one God, month. Dude. Then they can report at the conference call this big-ass inflated number oh. because you got the first month of the UK people signing up. So it's a big number. And then the next... Oh, if they do it now... Man. If they do it now... The UK people, after a month, could either not subscribe or cancel or not renew, and the number goes back down. So that maybe they're, it, maybe oh, they're saving man. it. So, all right, let's time it to where we launch so that that first month of big people, mm -hmm. uh, that big rush of subscribers in the UK oh, is God. part of the number we report at our oh. next conference call. And that gets into a whole different thing. Which, obviously, you wanna you wanna no way that's going to happen, because they cannot, if, it's supposed to be November 3rd, they're not going to make it all the way to the end right. of December before they do it, you know. Is it streaming issues? Is it IP issues? What is the deal? There needs to WWE needs to come out with some sort of update here. Yeah. Uh, you know, we're over a week since it was delayed. They said until further notice. Uh, what does that mean? All right, here's what we're gonna do, guys. Uh, we are gonna take a quick commercial break here. 
We'll come back on the flip side. We can't take the uh, we can't take the live phone calls tonight. Uh, we're gonna get everything worked out, the color fixed, and everything else uh, for next Tuesday night, eight ten Eastern time. We're here every Tuesday night from eight to ten Eastern time. Uh, oh, get to our live oh, chat room, wzronline.com slash chat. <coughs> wzronline.com slash chat. Get in there. Lots and lots of people yes. in there as always. We can't do phone calls, but we will do rapid fire. We are gonna do rapid fire. Tell them. Yes. How they can submit well, listen, I rapid fire to. questions. You can go to facebook.com slash Ryan Clark WZR. I can't do it. Anyway. Like yeah. that. What? Do it. I'm doing it. Look into the camera and do it. Facebook.com slash Ryan Clark WZR. Facebook.com slash Ryan Clark WZR. Top post will ask you for your questions, for your comments. Keep them brief, please. Please, guys, we gotta read them. Mm, spend all day reading. Facebook.com slash Ryan Clark WZR. We'll answer your questions. We'll take your comments and address them. Hour number two. We'll be back. It's your hour. Stick with us. They fuck the phone calls. Clap, 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 clap. Fuck the phone calls. <laughs> fuck the phone calls. What's up with the, with the accent? <laughs> you yeah, Oh, yeah, yeah. That ugly ass face of yours? Show another that ugly hour. fucking face of yours? Show him another hour of that ugly brilliant ass entertainment. Fucking face of yours. Would you get out of my grill, motherfucking That ugly show? ass face of yours. Here we are! Hour numero dos! Hey, for the English speaking crowd, that means hour number two. The Mexican crowd would have known more. Well, they got you, yeah. I was just translating for those who speak English. Oh, you're a translator. A lot of people would have been confused. Because about the show in the like, world that he can translate. <laughs> there you go. A lot of people would be like, wait, our numero dos, what are they saying? What does that mean? If somebody it means doesn't know two. uno, dos, tres. That's a joke, dude. Obviously. Go to high school. Yes. Go to the elementary school. Right. Go to Google. I don't like this Common Core thing they got going in in uh, New York spit State. Spit off me real quick. What's up? Uh, I'll spit all over I'll you. I'll punch you in the mouth. You think so? The common Core? What's... Oh, we didn't talk about the cop thing yet. Oh, Jesus. That's usually top of the hour shit. We didn't do that last hour. You want to bring that up real quick? I know you made it your whole life the past week. No. And Let in me the end, you, you succeeded. <laughs> this police officer in Saratoga Springs, New York. Right okay? up the road. This guy, look, I'll give you the backstory real quick, and then we'll get into this. So all we got left is uh, is rapid fire tonight. And yeah, we could do SmackDown if we wanted, but run down a little bit of that. Oh, um, here's here's what happened. I'll give you the backstory. Oh, we should I, talk I, about the UFCs this past weekend too, man. What just happened with uh, Vitor? It was Vandalay. Vandalay. He what was happened? scheduled to be part of the uh, Bellator. They have a pre, what do they call it? The pre-party kickoff. Okay. It's uh, at Dave and Buster's, the same place we sent uh, Moody. Mm -hmm. We got Hoist Gracie, Randy Couture, Tito Ortiz. We have a Dave and Busters around here. It's a yeah. really cool place. I can't ever finish a sentence without getting in just, anyways, really There was a bunch of legends at the uh, Dave and Busters. This guy's one to talk. For the, Mel for the Bellator media event. So anyways, they're doing another one be before the show. You asked me a question. They're doing another one before the show. And the same legends that I just named that were at the last one are going to mm -hmm. be there. And Frank Shamrock's going to be there. Okay. Yesterday, they signed a press release announcing that Vanderlei Silva... Is going to be there too. So just now I read that the UFC, because they still, Silva still has a contract with the UFC, they put the kibosh on that. And kibosh. Kibosh. I guess you could say kibosh. I've never heard kibosh. I know right. you can say kibosh. But okay. Anyways, they put the kibosh on it and made sure that, uh, I'm here to show the world that you could say kibosh or kibosh. <laughs> they uh, pulled Vandalay from it. So yeah. They pulled Vandalay. So UFC, I mean, that's. The Vandalay, he with just put out a second video a couple days ago. He put out that famous first video where he talked about the pay issues and blah, 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 and then he announced his retirement. Okay. So he just put out a recent, a second video, trashing the shit out of UFC again, talking about money again, how come Dana White and the business guys take first class, but the fighters have to sit in business class, mm -hmm. and then how come Dana White drives around in fancy cars and we all got to pack into a bus, and all this stuff, just ripping the shit out of UFC. Now, wait a minute. So, so Vanderlei is under contract with yes. UFC. Correct. But yet, he's ripping the shit out of the company. Retired. Why doesn't... 
Huh? He's A, banned for life in Nevada because he ran away from that drug test before right. the son yeah, fight. I so he can't fight again anyway because UFC honors Nevada no matter where they are. If they go to fucking Wyoming, they're not. if he's banned in Nevada, they ain't letting him fight in Wyoming just because they honor Nevada. Why does UFC keep him under contract if... It, why pay him if he is... If they're not paying him. They're not paying him. He would only get paid if he fought. Okay. So the contract's pretty much... It's the same thing happened with Preventing Randy. him from they're fighting. Basically fucking him, like WWE okay. does with people. Okay. Like, back in the day, the famous example, Randy Couture retired, but he still had two fights left on his contract. He gets knocked out by Chuck Liddell and retires. Mm -hmm. So, uh, he, you know, the last time you're going to see these gloves, these shorts, and this octagon, he retires after getting knocked out by Chuck. Right, right, right. So he's retired, this and that, blah, 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 blah. Next thing you know, he's going to go fight Fedor. Mm-hmm. I forget which company it was at the time. It might have been uh, Strike Force. It might have been Elite XC. But anyway, and they even shot video promos of Fedor Couture going face to face, pre packages, all the stuff, hype yeah, stuff. Everything set up. Right. UFC said no. Said no, 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 no. You're under contract to us. If you're fighting anyone, you retired. We all right. You don't. We're not gonna make you fight if you don't want to fight. You're retired. That's fine. But if you're coming out of retirement to fight legally, you have to fight for us. You have a contract. So right. right. They put the kill on the Fedor uh, Couture fight. Couture took him to court. Blah uh -huh. blah blah blah. They ended up he ended up losing in court. But I th I thought as a result, go ahead. Couture does come out of retirement, fights in the UFC, and he fights a guy that a lot of you guys might have heard of. His name's Brock <laughs> Lesnar. Well, if UFC is going to keep him Lesnar under contract, now becomes UFC. If UFC is going to keep him under contract, why not fight and make some money? Because he can't. He's banned. No, I, I, I'm i saying Randy Couture. Oh, Couture. This he did. Couture, and that's what he did. Yeah, he had to. Right. But I thought UFC deals were, like, per fight. They yeah. keep you... Okay. Well, they signed it to, like, a four-fight deal. Five, like, for right, example, so what, Anderson Silva just signed a 15-fight contract. Yeah, I, I, I saw that. But yeah. what is Vanderlei's deal? Vanderlei still has at least one or two fights left on his deal. So UFC is saying, until you take one or two more fights... We are not letting you. We can keep you. We can keep you under contract for the next twenty years. Keep him under contract for the rest of his life. For the rest of his life, yeah. unless he takes another fight or two. He can't take another fight or two because he's banned. Why can't he fight in New Jersey? Because the UFC honors Nevada's ruling. If Nevada makes a ruling on something, they honor it no matter where they go. If they go, so to they're Minnesota, really going to be a dick yes. and not let Vanderlei out of it for the rest of his life. Correct. That's a dick thing to do. That's a dick thing. I, if I was Vanderlei, I'd be pissed too. So they're basically saying your fighting career is over. Yes. Well, Nevada told him his fighting career he is over. He can't sit down yeah. with Dana White and say, Dana, listen. I'm sure he could. I, I'm sure he could. But uh, at this point, probably not. Because he's trashed Dana to the... I mean, he's made it real personal. So he he Public. must know he must know that you know what I'm I'm, I'm fucked my my fighting. I'm banned in Nevada. I'm stuck under a contract to UFC. I, I'm fucked. And he must be thinking in his head, you know, it's time to retire anyway. So you know what? I'm done fighting. Now I'm just gonna go out. Well, he wants to fight because he's trying. He's he's he did. It. I didn't know it was that. It, it was is. Like he that, did a man. tease recently on Instagram saying that he's got a big announcement coming soon. Blah 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 blah. Long story short, there's a lot of rumors. This was the first one that he's gonna fight in Japan. Who the fuck was it? I think he wanted to fight uh, uh, somebody. And then the second rumor came out that. He's going to fight Phil Baroni on New Year's Eve in Japan. He's going to do... Phil Baroni, the New York badass. Right, he's going to do it anyway. A third rumor came out that said he want, he challenged and called out Chael Sonnen and said, let's fight in Brazil, motherfucker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Chael said, no, I can't. I'm suspended by Nevada for two years, not to mention I'm retired. He right. says, I'll fight you in Metamoras, which is a grappling contest, mm -hmm. which Sonnen's allowed to do. So, uh, long story short, Vanderlei Silva is really trying to get a fight somewhere with someone. Right, right, right. But not only can he not, because the UFC deal on the Band of Nevada, but now what? he's just going to appear at a Bellator party. He ain't even allowed to do that. The UFC said, fuck you. They can't, he can't you do it. You want to talk right, shit right, about right. us in public and right, then try right, and do something? Right. No. What happened when Couture sued UFC to get out of his he couldn't. He lost. He didn't have enough money to really win the but case. But can't Vanderlei go to court and say, listen... UFC, let's be honest. I'm not gonna fight for them again, and and no. they're fucking my career here. And and I've got I've got a family to feed. I've got a life. I need to make money somewhere, and UFC is not allowing me to do that. Well, he can't make he money can't, somewhere. He just can't fight. I don't know. If I were Vandalit, I think I'd go to court and at least he would lose, and he would lose a lot of money trying. A lot. That's what's proven by the Couture case. Couture had a better uh, argument because he wasn't banned by See, Nevada. See, I want to keep going back to the point of <clears throat> Vanderlei take one more fight, but he's he banned. In, yeah. Right. He's fucked. Wow. Everywhere he turns, he's fucked. Yeah, he's fucked. Yeah. 
and UFC sticking it to him because this was a simple. I'm going to appear in a media event. I'm not going to fight. I'm, not gonna yeah. I'm just going to appear as a guest at his media event, and, and they won't even let him do that. That's in his contract that he can't appear for other promotions. I guess yeah. not. So I, mean, I guess be. so. I don't know. I mean, obviously it is. They stopped it. You wow. Know, so. Mm. Poor son, bitch. Anyways, all right. So here we go. So this cop story, right? Half moon. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Saratoga Springs. And I'll, I'll, I'll fuck did we go from a cop story? I, I have no idea. Oh, I said idea. we need to cover the two MMA shows from this. Yeah, 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 yeah. And we got two huge shows coming up next week. Well, we, talked about, we talked about the main events. But this, we, this weekend we've got Tito Ortiz and Stephen Bonner. Stick, stick to MMA, and then I'll get into the cop story, and then we'll you do sure? fight. Yeah, absolutely. This, this uh, Saturday, two events head to head. Three events if you count World Series of Fighting. World Series of Fighting. Yeah, they got Melvin Gillard and Justin Gaethje. Got they Tito got and Bonner this weekend. Tito Ortiz and Stephen Bonner. Yeah. King Mo. King Mo's part of that card. Is that free? Free on Spike TV. Awesome. 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 And then against it's UFC. It was supposed to be. Dude, there. that is a big card. Big card. Guys. For Bellator, yeah. Yeah. Uh, and against it, it was supposed to be Cain Velasquez versus Fabricio Verdum for the mm-hmm. UFC Heavyweight Championship. Velasquez got he injured. Got hurt, right. He's out. So now it's Fabricio Verdum versus Mark Hunt. That's the, awesome. For the interim championship. That's awesome. It should be a fun fight. Yeah. 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 Uh, they also got, um, <laughs> the co-main event was supposed to be Diego Sanchez versus Joe Lozon. And then, actually it was originally going to be Diego Sanchez versus like Norman Park or somebody. Mm-hmm. Norman Park gets injured. All right, so now it's, Diego oh, Sanchez ver- now it's Diego Sanchez versus Joe Lozon. Then Diego Sanchez gets injured. All right, oh. now it's Joe Lozon versus to be announced. Oh, then man, Joe Lozon dude. gets injured. For real. So all of them are out. Ah. So uh, now we've got ah. Fabrice Over Doom versus, came, uh, came Mark, versus Hunt. Mark Hunt. And in the co main event, Jake Ellenberger mm-hmm. versus Kelvin Gastelum. Never heard of him. Won the Ultimate Fighter, but recently. The, the season of John Jones and Chael Sonnen coach. Uh, coach. I don't watch it, man. Yeah, but uh, all right, so that's fighting in the co main event. Very good. He's undefeated. Yeah. He's, uh, yeah, he beat. Uh, who the fuck did he beat? Um, Rick Story. I think I'm more interested in, in, even though they're old. Bellator's the better show. Yeah, I think For I'm a more casual right. fan, it's way better. Right. For a diehard fan, UFC's better, but if you got to pay $50 versus free, yeah. Bellator's better option. Unless Tito Ortiz, I don't know, gets injured tomorrow. Uh, he's done <laughs> training. Something like that. Yeah, he's Is done it? training. So. All right, no yeah. excuses this time, right? They're good to go. Uh, they actually had a story come out today we put on MMANews.com. They, uh... Because Stephen Bonner's failed two drug tests in his career. They both passed. I read that today. Yeah, they both passed. They their, both it passed. was random tests, too. One, like, scheduled. Good. They know how to beat it. It was Good. random. Awesome. Uh, but they would have to know they're getting tested the week of the fight. Absolutely. So they were probably right. even at right. But uh, So, yeah. so Bellator's the bigger card. Bellator's the bigger card, and they've got some great shoulder programming. I just watched... Uh, the first one was Tito Ortiz Unrivaled, which is kind of like a documentary just on Tito Ortiz's career. Watched the video today. It aired on Spike TV. You watched it? Watched it. I put it up on MMA School. 25 minutes long. You watched the whole thing? I watched uh, about the first six minutes. Great. The better one, it's great, not great. <laughs> it's great. The better one is the one I watched yesterday. Uh, Bellator actually sent it to me, and they said, hey, you know, the embed code, this and that. I said, dude, you don't have an embed code on it. <laughs> so because of me... I got Spike.com to update their website and fix some shit. Look at you. but uh, Look at you, baby. I don't know why I'm bragging about that. That's such a douchey thing to do. A mark thing to do. But uh, they fixed it. I embedded it. You can watch it at MMAnews.com right now. It's called Tito vs. Bonner. Spike TV changed their website yeah. because of me. <laughs> and Dixie talked to him. You asked. But uh, it's called Tito vs. Bonner Winner Take All. Okay. And it's, you know how HBO does the face-off where they sit backwards on a chair? Yeah. And yep. they go face-to-face and yep. Max Kellerman sits here and asks him questions. Right. They did that with Ortiz and Bonner. Did they? It's the awesome. most entertaining thing you've ever seen in hey. your life. It's the most entertaining thing you've ever seen in your life. And not this weekend. So good. Not this weekend. Yeah. The following weekend, Manny Pacquiao fights. Manny Pacquiao fights the same, the day before Survivor Series. Day before Survivor yeah. Series. No shit. So a lot of great right. fights coming up. Hell yeah. Um, all right, stop. stop. The cop story. Yes. So here we go. This is Sarat- the story of the week. Saratoga <laughs> Springs, New York. All right, this is what happens. I'll give you the backstory. I haven't even put this up on uh, on Facebook yet, but I'll give you the backstory. <laughs> Basically, um, a police officer in Saratoga Springs got a report of a vehicle that should be checked out. And the cop showed up, and he asked the guy, can I search your vehicle? Um, apparently what happened, and this isn't out there for everybody, but there was a rifle, a long hunting rifle, on the back seat, uh, in his car. Okay. In his car. It is hunting season. It is New York State. They are in Saratoga, up in the Adirondacks. Well, it's normal for somebody to have a hunting rifle 
in their vehicle yeah. during yeah. hunting season in New York yeah, yeah. in the Adirondack Mountains. Okay, but real quick before you keep going, I, I just watched the clip that you showed me, and he's the the kid that was getting arrested or getting fired <coughs> with said, "Why do you want to search my car? You got me in my house or something with his house." Yes. So where does the car come into the? Basically, what happened is Confused. so the cop shows up. The cop shows up, and the guy is not in his vehicle. Real quick, He's did you? Unless I missed it, how does it start? It starts. The cop comes out for what reason? A, and then if you listen to what I, I just said, yeah. the uh, the vehicle co- police got a phone call about for yeah. a suspicious vehicle that was so what unoccupied. That, that was unoccupied. Yeah. That had a gun in the back seat. Okay, a cop shows up. The guys are out in a field setting up a hunting stand, hammering into a fucking tree. Okay. They emerge from the woods, yeah. and the cop is there waiting. Yes. And the cop says to him, Sir, do you mind if I search so your vehicle? Why did he say, You got me in my house? Why do you want to search my vehicle? So that the it's guy the comes, the guy comes, and he says, Well, why search my vehicle? He says, I'm a hunter, and I just bought a hunting rifle. Several hours ago, hours ago, I've got the receipt yeah. for it. The cop says, "I want to search your vehicle." The guy says, "I can say no," and and so I have where nothing. Does house come into play? So, anyways, the, on the video, he says, uh, "You know, why don't you search my house?" Uh, it, it, the guy comes out of the woods. He says, "I wasn't even in my car." That's it. Okay. So why gotcha. search? Uh, wh- gotcha. Why don't you search my house? Why don't you search my land? Why don't you search any? But I wasn't in my vehicle when this occurred. So, this guy, his Fourth Amendment right in the United States, in the Constitution, is you. if you say no to a search, an officer has to go out and get a warrant to search Unless. your vehicle. This guy... Well, he's got probable cause, and if he sees a gun in the back, why isn't that... That's probable cause. It's, it's really not probable cause. It is. If he, if he has probable for, cause if he has where for a license if the guy if the guy had the gun in his hand and he was making motions with it that's probable cause no, no, no. Probable but an cause. unoccupied vehicle an unoccupied vehicle but my point is if you get a call about a suspicious car you come out and you see in the back window of the car there's a gun if he had, here's the probable cause if he says sir I need to see a permit for that gun in your bed. If he doesn't give him the permit or says he doesn't have it or whatever then he's got probable cause he's got he can search the cause. car correct did correct. he ask the guy for a permit I, I don't know. He didn't, then he fucked the, up. The, the officer said, I want to search the vehicle. Yeah. This guy... Is, is that plugged in, by the way? I'm just... The, the it is, but yeah, they just... They're saying there's errors <coughs> with the Java in the chat. Plug-in crashes. Plug-in crashes? All right. Java. So anyways, what happened is the guy... Uh, his Fourth Amendment right is to say, uh, if you want to search my vehicle, get a warrant. That's simply what he told the police officer. It's on video. He says, it's my right... And right. The cop didn't like the answer. He, he didn't thought, like the guy's attitude. I think he just thought he, he was a punk kid. He's a got punk the kid and who's and the, so yeah. right. He and just didn't like him. The cop didn't give. Uh, he didn't get the response that he wanted. So instead of saying, "Okay, that is you are right. We will get a warrant. We will search your vehicle." The cop threw a fit and started cussing at this guy. He went up on a power trip. Yeah. He went on a power trip saying. Give me your fucking keys. I'm searching your fucking vehicle. Yeah. No, that's exactly how. What should have What should have happened is the cop should have said, "Okay, you don't consent to a search. I will go out. I will get a warrant. I'll search your vehicle." Instead, he cussed at him, and then, as the guy saying, "Search my house. Search anything. Yeah. I wasn't in the." The guy is holding his keys, by the way. So he holds his keys, yeah. and the officer he says, "You don't want to consent to a search. Give me your fucking keys." And he takes the keys away. Oh, that's first. And the first guy smacked him. Then he grabbed the his guy. Keys. The guy says, or, or, or the officer says to him, uh, uh, he says, uh, yeah. What, what, he said when he right before he smacked him, he says, uh, you wanna, you wanna play games or something like that? What yeah, did he yeah. say? You want, and wound up slapping this kid then on the back of the head. Keys. Now, yeah. as soon as he slapped him, the kid remained cool. He didn't say anything. Yeah. He didn't. He didn't. Like the kid like, was saying the stuff like this. He was like, "Sir, you can't do that. That's not. You're not allowed to do that." And the, the kid, cop did the not. The cops don't like being told. Polite. He was. Cops don't like polite. being told what like their rights are. They hate that shit. 
This kid was very polite. And the fact that this officer slapped him, that right there, Boom. the officer should be charged with assault. Exactly. If, if, if you or I were to slap a cop, we'd be put that's in handcuffs. That's not self-defense, that's assault. We would, be, yeah. we would be put in handcuffs and be charged with assaulting a police officer. Yes. Give me a brick. So this officer, so anyways, what happened is the video was uploaded to YouTube and went Oh, viral. that's what he said. You're right. You want to resist or something like that, He says, right? you want to resist? Yeah. Boom! Slaps him. Takes his so, keys and then, yeah. So this officer, like you said, was on a complete power trip. Yeah. Of, so the of, other cop's standing there and he says something and the guy, and the other cop, the cop that's the dick. No, no that says, was Oh, you like that, huh? His that's friend. what I said. The other cop said. That wasn't the other cop. That was his friend who was recording the video. The yeah. friend was there. And the the friend says to the cop, "Boy, that was intense." And the cop oh, says, okay, yeah, "The yeah. cop says you like that, huh? I can get a lot more intense. Yeah, I'll rip his fucking head off and shit down his neck. Yes, that's or the shit down quote. his throat. Yeah, and and <clears throat> the and the guy that's recording says, "Really? <laughs> you gotta be kidding me right now." The officer didn't know that he was being recorded. The video surfaces online. It goes viral. I along with another guy, started a Facebook page. This guy, um, and a petition. who was working with me, mm -hmm. went to change.org oh, and started so. a petition. Yeah. And uh, mm -hmm. we had 2,000 signatures on the petition. Um, like we 6, had fans. We had over uh, about 4,700 fans, probably up to about 6K now. It was over 5,000, because uh, I remember saying, you don't even have 5, that many. Yeah. Right, you're right. <clears throat> I invited half of my list on Facebook. I went out. I told the people on my Facebook page. I joined it. Please yeah. support this. <clears throat> you joined it. Everybody joined it. Yesterday, it comes out about 2 o'clock in the afternoon. And the before officer, it came out, it was trending worldwide on Facebook. Number one. Too. Right. A local uh, Saratoga story the, from right the, up the road is trending the guy, worldwide. The guy, Colin, uh, who was the guy in the video yeah, that went he, viral was, you know, he got slapped, he went in, he pressed charges yesterday, thank God, for him. because we needed Colin Good to press him. charges. Yes. If Colin didn't press charges, this officer, and I think the public pressure in this going viral, and Colin, knowing that I can make a lot of money <laughs> off of this, Colin went in yesterday and pressed charges. See, I didn't charges. know another kid was recording. It looked like the, right. the one yeah, kid, Colin, was like holding the phone like down by his yeah. waist. It was the other kid that was holding, so he was holding the phone secretly down. Holding it. Okay. Um, so anyways, uh, it turns out that Colin, the entire time, had a receipt. He had purchased the gun hours Ouch. earlier, just hours earlier. He has a receipt. What's the officer's Colin name? Colin went yeah. in. Uh, Sergeant Sean Gl Glantz. Okay. Sean Glantz. Um, so basically, Colin went into court uh, <laughs> yesterday morning and uh, filed a civil lawsuit against the officer. Mm -hmm. The officer then he got came, a uh, prote order he, of protection against he him too. Order of protection. Yeah. He then resigned. Uh, officer Sean Glantz, had Glantz to turn his guns and then shit. Uh, resigned from the police report. He's been there for the police force. Been there for twenty five years. Yep. Had turned in his guns by five p.m. Eastern time yesterday. Was forced to turn in his badge and yeah. his guns. We saw and that the was news all done yesterday. Colin is now yeah. going to file a civil lawsuit against this officer. Hopefully, he winds up with a lot of money. Um, so basically, and, long story short, the yes. cop lost his job, got charges brought against him. The kid has an order of protection. The fact is, is, him. is, we still want this officer charged with assault. Yes, and that's what he, he should a have. at least be arrested and go to jail. And and Be the booked, at least. the Saratoga police uh, sergeant that Whoa. that suspended him, he should not have been suspended. He should have been fired right immediately. away. Immediately, immediately yes. fired when a video like that surfaced. The only reason they fired this him was is, because it went viral and it became a big media story. They didn't so there was, fire him. There was media they didn't fire him. He, he resigned. resigned. But they were going to have to fire him. They were going to have so to. He voluntarily resigned. He voluntarily him. resigned. I think there's so. something like we were saying yesterday. There's something with the pension involved there, where if he resigns, right. maybe he can still get his exactly. retirement money. Get the pension. This, that, and the other thing. Yeah. So I don't this know. This officer needs to be charged with assault on Colin, and uh, we're still working to make that happen. So support the page. What's it's the called uh, Arrest Sergeant Arrest Saratoga Sergeant Sean Glanz. You can see uh, the link is up on my Facebook. Let's go to Facebook.com/slash Ryan Clark WZR. He has the link. To we it, need uh, him. We need him there. gone. This guy. I'm not saying. Listen, all cops are not bad people. Uh, there are good cops out there. I'll be the first to say that. I've there dealt are, with a lot of them. There are good cops. Ones like him. There are good cops. A lot of people have. Uh, yeah. There are good cops that are no out idea. there that <laughs> are very respectful of your rights, and there are good cops. But there are also bad cops, and Sergeant Sean Glanz is one of those bad cops. Read those two comments because that's a very important thing, and I it agree 100%. Not, it was Read not it. the cops. Uh, yeah. He says, Winner's Lair in the chat says, I'm sure this wasn't the cops' first time, too. It was first only time the first caught. time I got caught. 
Absolutely. 100% agree. Absolutely. You can tell and by the way he was that he's an asshole. And, and not everybody re- gets a video and records it. But, Damn near uh, nobody I does. I just saw what you said okay, happen. Yeah. Um, but, yes, yeah, so this this guy is now gone. Basically, he's gone from the police, report, police force. He's not going to be an officer any longer. That, to me, is a step in the right direction. That's the first Next moral thing victory. that needs to happen, this guy needs to be charged with assault. If it was any civilian that hit this officer, he, I'm very... Passionate you about got 6. this. You got 6.2 thousand on there. 6,200 6, people on Facebook yeah. in three days um, since this thing went viral. So I'm really passionate about this man where this officer, it's not right, man. Is that true? I'm sorry to keep interrupting you. This guy says not his first time. In 1996, okay. in 1996, he was en route to a call. He was speeding. He ran through a red light. He hit a car. The cop did. Collision. The cop did okay. and uh, killed somebody. And despite that, they went to court. He, said he, he got didn't off. kill him. He said he was in a coma for nine years. Then he died. Then he died. Yes. This fucker was. Yes. Oh man. Uh, uh, Do so, you imagine so, his family for nine years having to deal with this? And the guy family in a coma? came out. The family came out yesterday Jesus. and said, "Now that his name's all over the media again, I can't stand it." He says everywhere. I went on Facebook and social media yesterday. I saw this guy's name. It's the worst thing that could have happened to me. But maybe this time justice will be served. There's another good point from Chris Brown. He says, "After what happened in Missouri, nobody ever trusts a cop without." Fit. That was the uh, this this the Brown. What was this? Um, yeah, Brown. Um, I can't think of the uh, name. Uh, something Brown. Yeah. Yeah. But the, the, the thing in, um, what was the city? Something Missouri? Uh, Ferguson. Ferguson. Yeah, after that. And the fucking, uh, the fucking, uh, thing in, uh, I think it was Florida. That fat guy Zimmerman or whatever. George Zimmerman. Was, right, right. Yeah. yeah. Jesus, man. They, these cops, these bad cops that give, uh, there are a lot of good cops out there. Don't get me wrong. There really are. But there's a lot of bad cops, and this guy's a bad egg. This guy's a bad egg, and he fucking he needs to go, and it's a step in the right direction. Hopefully, is Colin, it really nine fifty three? Hope you get a lot of money. So, anyways, here we go. Holy we shit! We got to. Didn't get we go to break at nine? Uh, no, about nine twenty. Okay, I was gonna say we haven't been talking for a fucking hour. About nine twenty, nine thirty. Right. We worth the break. Now we got to get back into uh, pro. I'm sorry. I'm very passionate. Boo knows I'm passionate about it's that. Been his whole week, and yeah. uh, and and yeah, he's done as much work on that as he has his job this past week. All right, so wow, let's, that filled up. Uh, that filled up very quick. Here we go. Uh, we're going to talk about this uh, from Jason Hansen. Go ahead and take this one. Jason Hansen starts us off in the in the rapid fire this week. He says, "For free silver doom versus one more of these." I'm sorry. Yes, okay. and they, I, we each got one more in the fridge. Okay. There was four left. I took one and gave you one. And okay, one each. Yes. What? Yes. Oh. Oh. Oh, we didn't need them now. But them. We'll take them. Put them in the fridge. You want to say hi? Hello. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, Sister and niece. Yeah. They're bringing us some more beers. Jason Hansen, who used to be a kicker for the Detroit Lions. He still did. is. He still, still is. is. Still is. Been there forever. Right. That's not the same one. Right. Right. Uh, he says, <laughs> how do you know? Because it's not. All right. Fabrice <laughs> Overdoom versus uh, Mark Hunt. Junior Dos Santos versus Steve Miocic. And I believe, yeah, Anderson Silva versus Nick Diaz. He's asking for predictions on those three fights. Verdum. I got Verdum. Um, Junior Dos Santos, JDS. Steve Miocic. Jakes. I got uh, Dos Santos. And Anderson Silva, Nick Diaz. That's a tough my one. My boy Diaz. You're going I'm Diaz? I'm going on a limb of my boy Diaz. I'm going to go Silva on that one. Although I hope Diaz kinda wins. got to, right? He got to, yeah. yeah. Well, although, man. I'm going know. Diaz, man. He's coming off with his leg thing. I take crazy <sighs> kicks here and there. And I don't think it's all that crazy. Son of a honest. bitch. I think I got the hiccups. Oh, uh, we're show. almost out of here, man. We're almost out of here. All right, we got uh, Coulter, cool <laughs> bitch, man. <laughs> Boone, read your uh, read your uh, read your SES SC scoops rant about Lesnar and Reigns. Sports and I totally agree. Predictable does not equal bad. Uh, Clark, how do you feel about Reigns versus Lesnar? You know quick, what? The thing I, was, it wasn't predict. It was the whole the whole column. I'll just give you the idea of it. It was. It's called. I'll give you the title. That's what it was about. The surprise factor isn't always necessary. Okay. Because Jim Ross has been saying, everybody's going to see it coming. Brock Lesnar's last match on his contract, WrestleMania 31 against Roman Reigns. Everybody's going to know he's going to lose because it's his last match. They're gone. My thing is, you don't need to, sh- it's not the attitude anymore. You don't need to shock people every week or surprise right. them every A good idea is a good idea whether you see it coming or not. Right. Last year's right. WrestleMania, everybody knew Daniel Bryan was closing the show, yes, 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 world title. It happened, and guess what? Was it still awesome? It was awesome. Of course. You don't need to awesome. shock or surprise someone for something to be right. good. So, that's this why is we're awesome. in. Like Clark, 
The hiccups are going too. I think so, yeah. Uh, Clark again, or Clark, he's got a question. Uh, What do you think about Reigns versus Lesnar? I love it as long as they put Reigns over, which it's 99% they have to. As long as he's good by then, you know. Take another one from uh, Colter Geese as he kept it uh, short as possible. Thank Thank you, you, brother. I appreciate it. Jason Hansen says, I mentioned this last night too. Do you think Roman Reigns tried to kidnap Renee Young and it be tied into Dean Ambrose Bray Wyatt storyline. Why it did say he had a secret? No. Dean Ambrose dating Renee Young in real life. Yeah. You going that route? Nah, I don't. I don't know. Um, oh, see, I think Grumpy Cat and uh, and Harper is it or Rowan? Rowan. Yeah. yeah. Harper's the eyes. Rowan's the sheet mask. Oh, uh, we got Jorge Romero. Thoughts on TNA's future? I gotta be honest with you, man. We talked about it's it on the audio uh, yeah. last Wednesday night. They gotta come up with something. Soon. Yes. Uh, we're November 11th today. End of the year. The basic TV. gist. Yeah, something's got to happen. That we said during the audio show that you're referencing was that they've got. A, a, if the rumors are true, there's two options. They can stay on Spike for less money, or they can go to WGN for either the same money they're making now or more money. Right. And we were saying that it's better to stay on Spike for less money. Because at least you're still in the game. You have a chance if you write good shows and you know, major network improve your prod- product. Yeah. You're on a, a big enough station that if you get your 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 your, your product better, better right. storylines, better matches, better creative, right? You've got at least a chance to get back in the game. You go to WGN, That's you're not. Hit. You're, all right, you're making more money to go to WGN than you'd make on Spike TV, but you have no chance of growing. I don't think we get WGN here. I don't know. Hey, you know what I mean, man? It's it's crazy. Uh, who's up next, man? Nilsa Hernandez says to you, go ahead. Nilsa Hernandez, Clark, uh, reigns here from the chat room. What's up, brother? Mark Sanchez was dating Eva Longoria. Ah, You're right. That's it. You're right. Thank you. Somebody said Eva Longoria in the chat room. It's You're probably right. you. You're right, though. Jason Hansen's back again. Again. That's the third one. Yeah, he says, we're going around as AJ Styles broke Yoshi Tattoo's neck via Styles Clash. Any news? I didn't hear that. Haven't heard that. Uh, heard, uh, check on that when we go off the air here who tonight. Was it that I will hurt say, ROH? Uh, Lionheart was the UK wrestler yeah. that hit a Styles Clash and uh, almost Styles broke clash. his. Took a Styles Clash, almost broke his. There was his also neck. somebody in Ring of Honor. Lionheart was the guy that during Rusev's victory celebration on Raw last night, he was the guy standing there that didn't say anything. The Russian guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was him, was, and uh, also worked as a rosebud. Who was the ROH guy that Styles hit the Styles Clash on, and, and he didn't tuck his neck? Ah. Uh, no, that was that was Lionheart. No, 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 it was after that one. There was two almost in a row. DJ Whitmer, maybe. Uh, Who's the guy that's been doing that work shoot angle with ROH recently? I, I want to say it's that guy. Uh, uh, Michael Elgin. Michael Elgin was that him? Maybe not. No, it was Lionheart, the guy. No, that I know that happened. Okay. Preston, Preston City. Or BJ something? Whitmer was was the another guy. Thing. Okay, there was one in ROH, and then there was B- one in the UK. The BJ Whitmer was pretty crazy okay. too, man. We watched right. it. Remember, he didn't yeah. tuck his neck. You're right. That right. wasn't the. Uh, uh, that was Lionheart. not the UK. That yeah. was BJ Whitmer. That happened first. Then in the UK, he did the Lionheart one. BJ yeah. Whitmer was the other guy. Um, let's see, Christopher. We'll check on that for you, though. Uh, the chat's uh, probably already answered it. Jason, glance real quick. Yeah, let's see. Jimmy. Roderick Strong. That's Roderick it. Strong. Yeah, that's what it was. 100% okay. sure. Yes, uh, yes. No doubt. No doubt. <clears throat> Yo, Thank you um, to Jerichoholic. Jerichoholic. I think it was, was, Jer- who was Somebody the else guy. beat him There was it. another guy. This guy. Uh, we'll go back. We've got to give credit, man. Uh, cool Dip. Cool Dip. Yeah. Coulter. Cool Dip, man. Thank you, sir. Alrighty, back to uh, Rapid Fire. That was me. He that said. was me. All right, <laughs> All right we got uh, Christopher Brown regarding the future of uh, Raw and SmackDown after the authorities gone. Are we going back to a one GM or two GM system? Do you think Austin Foley? Well, the authority's going to lose at Survivor Series. No, I mean, they're not. I think so. They're I think so. at Survivor Series because the storyline at WrestleMania is the authorities. Authority on the line. It would continue at Survivor Series. They're absolutely Series. winning okay. at Survivor Series. Right. That's a fact. Uh, we'll see what happens over the next couple of um, weeks. But Mick Foley's posted on Facebook recently that he wants to come back as a GM. He's open. I would He's love open. it too, but uh, I don't know if they go back to that formula. I mean, we'd, we'll see. All right. What do we got What's from Aurora? Picture? He's got a photo here. In Chicago, like they are encouraging uh, fans to abandon Bears game. What's your take on Cutler and Company? A boycott in the Chicago. Uh, he's got a photo of a boycott. Uh, oh, it's the Chicago Sun Times. Cutler is not doing good for Chicago. I mean, Chicago got murked against Green Bay on Sunday night. Good. It was like 45 to 
14 or Good. something. Fuck them. Something crazy. Um, Fuck them for two reasons. One, was... they're in the Lions division. <laughs> two, there's a certain guy that's a big Bears yes, fan. And I don't I care know. for that much anymore. We call him B.E. Yeah. We call him B.E. Vincent Nugent. Vincent Nugent says, with the Grumpy Cat guest starring oh, Raw sir. next Monday night, do you think Raw will have an animal-themed character sla- uh, characterized show uh, feel to it? Oh, an animal-themed characterized show I feel think to we're going to see the bunny. There's There'll be one be segment. There's one or two segments, yeah, yeah, two maybe, segments with, maybe, with a Grumpy Cat. And then, Remy, thoughts on a new day? Good will question. it work? Uh, very good question. Uh, Kofi last Kingston. week, they did this, the Xavier Woods. Xavier Woods, it's last like week. It's like a religious thing. Promo vignette. All right. This week it was the same thing, but Kobe with Kofi Kingston. Kingston doing it. And I said to Next you last week night, Big e, I said Big E's going to yeah. come. And remember, you Big reminded e, me. Yeah. Big E just a couple of months ago on Raw He's doing the preacher thing. Cut that whole pre. Well, let me tell you something. Oh, yeah. how'd you do it last he night? He said, well, "Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> we are <laughs> here in a green the bay, yes, sir. A praise of Jesus." <laughs> <laughs> kind of like uh, the doctor of Sl- what was it? Uh, Slick was his nickname. The All old right. manager. Slick Rick? No, 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 no. no. Slick. Oh, Slick Walker Brown. No, no, Slick, no, no. Uh, an old manager, a black manager from the old days, of WWE eighties. Okay. Uh, I think it was just Slick. Was his name. And then Remy's got another one. Luke Harper in for a big push. Harper? Yeah. Harper. Rowan? Yeah. No, I think Rowan's going to comedy. We don't care about you, route. Harper? Uh, I said Rowan. Going yes. to comedy? Yeah. Harper though, I think they're doing something with him. What's Jorge got? Well, George Romero. Jorge. I always say George. Jorge. He says, Jim Ross working with New Japan Pro Wrestling and Global Force Wrestling, will this give him heat from WWE? And is this a good start for Double J's new company? That's a good question. Will he get heat from Let WWE? Let me go back to the question. Jorge or George? We've asked him. He didn't if you're in the really chat room. Yeah. I want you to type in the chat room. If it's Jorge, I want you to type like H. Whore. Yeah. Like or type W H O R E. Like W H O R E. Whore in the chat. Is he in the chat though? If it's George, I want you to type it with a G. I don't G-E-O. think he's in the chat. Well, let's see if he's in the chat room. I think if and, and let us know it's you in the chat. Room. We're gonna wait for you. But I think uh, I, I asked think him on Twitter once and he gave me a non-answer. I think he it's, wouldn't answer. I think it's whore, as in it's like George. I don't think so. I think it's whore. Yeah, he's Whore. not in there, by the Jorge. way. Jorge. I just went through the list. He's not, he's there. not in there? Uh, well, he how do a, you know he's not under unless a Unless he has a weird name. fake name, yeah. Oh. I don't think so. Well, there must be a little bit of a delay, huh? Yes. Oh. There always is. But uh, wish we had the Jeopardy theme. It's kind of dead air here. Do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do. Anyways, what's his question? He said something about Jeff Jarrett. I asked you, yeah. He says, do you think Jim Ross will get heat from WWE for doing the New Japan uh, Global Force Wrestling Show? And then the second thing was, do you think ha- having Jim Ross do commentary is a good start for uh, Jarrett's company? Um, Two-parter. You know, uh, do I think New Japan Pro Wrestling is a good start for Jarrett's no, company? No, 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 no. Having Jim Ross do commentary... Oh. Is that a good start? Like a I, good first move? I don't think it's... I mean, Jim Ross is working for New Japan Pro Wrestling. He's not working for well, GFW. He's working for GFW. I guess. I mean, they're... GFW's hand on the American... Anything that has to do with the American broadcast of that show... Right. ...is all GFW. Jim Ross is doing the American commentary, so that's who he's working and for. Is, is GFW made the announcement, not New Japan. All right, but GF, GFW's the promoter of New Japan's event. It's New They're Japan's also event. the host of the American version of the broadcast. So Jim Ross Some is working for the American version of the broadcast. What are we going to watch in the United States? We're going to watch a New Japan Pro yeah, Wrestling yeah. event. He's calling a New Japan Pro Wrestling event for Global Force Wrestling. I guess, but we're still watching the a New Japan Pro The contract he signed was with GFW, not New Japan. Okay. That's good That's good for GFW. And as far as Jim Ross burning bridges with WWE, I think Jim Ross' WWE time is a full team whore. Clark is correct. Whore. It is whore. Oh. All right. I'm Puerto Rican. I'm Puerto we, we Rican. say whore. Hey. All right. Yeah. Boom. All right. Say it. You were right. I was wrong. Yes. Anyways. Um, but... I, I think GFW, yeah, Jim Ross burning bridges with WWE. I think Jim Ross's full time announcing <laughs> duties, Jim Ross's full time announcing yeah, duties with WWE are long gone. Oh yeah, he's done. I mean, so WWE is not going to bring him back as a full time commentator. Now, what are you laughing? So about? the correct answer is, what are you shit if he gets heat? What are you laughing about? A joke from the chat room. John Morgan says, "I'm waiting for George or Jorge Romero to say fuck or to fuck with them both and say." What are you guys talking about? My name is pronounced <laughs> Greg. <Yeah. laughs> All right, let's go back to the uh, rapid fire segment. We left off with 
Jorge, we got and we're going to Ryan, Ryan Ennis. Ryan, what's up, man? He says, have you missed me, you smiley face? Absolutely, brother. Why is there a translation for a smiley face? I don't know. Sometimes it does that on Facebook. It's weird. Good to have you back, brother. Very good. I'm glad to have you back. Jay Mullen, uh, do you think Wrestle Kingdom 9 will put Bound for Glory to shame? New Japan, a lot of that stuff is really good. Like, the wrestling is awesome. It's what is that? Awesome. G. In, uh, uh, what's the tournament they do? The G one. The G. G one. G one. G one. G one tournament. Okay, yeah, yeah, they do that. Those every are year. insane. Yeah, yeah. Uh, J. Mo oh, that is it. Uh, Vincent Nugent. Can we agree on that one? Nugent. No, we can't. I don't think Nguyen is what it, what it looks Nguyen? like. Nguyen. Yeah, but something like that. We always yeah. say Nugent. Anyways, Acer says. What is the status of WWE superstars in the WWE Network? Will it remain on Thursday afternoon? Oh, we didn't talk about SmackDown changing. Thursday afternoons and nights oh, right. in the same time slot, or will that be changed? And NXT's going to Wednesday nights. Yes. Uh, and the cool thing about SmackDown changing, uh, for those of you who don't know, I'm sure everybody knows, but uh, SmackDown's moving from Friday to Thursday starting January 15th, I want to say. That's another thing. You know what? Uh, let's say something real quick. Remember, WWE a couple of months ago said, no, 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 no. we're not yeah. moving to Thursday, we're staying on Fridays, it was a mistake yeah, on the production. I know production we painted shots. our trucks, and yes. And it, it's another case of, who do you believe, WWE or stuff? We, yeah, I don't, it wasn't even I a don't believe, they painted their trucks, Sci-Fi put out a schedule right. that said Thursday, and WWE said, no, 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 no. Admit no. it, admit it, or yeah. don't even issue a response, it just came out. Uh, I'm sure there's something with advertisers or Sci-Fi that they had to lie about. Anyway, who so, knows? so what's uh, but he's on my superstar. But also, the cool thing I was going to say with SmackDown moving from Friday to Thursday mm -hmm. is that in Canada, it's going to air on Wednesday. On Wednesday, right. So every week, Canada is going to get to see SmackDown before the United States, before but, everybody. Canada yeah. gets to see it first. It used to be Australia. Australia used to because get to the, see yeah, it the before. Weird right, right, right. But now Canada, yeah. we have a lot of listeners from Canada. They're going to get to see SmackDown before us every week. Yeah, you're right. Every week you're right. they get it a yeah. full day early. Yeah. yeah. Uh, what do we got, Stephen uh, Mercurio? Mercurio. Mercurio. Why is Adam Rose hating on the bunny? Well, it's a heel turn. Yeah. I mean, I mean, Rose is turning heel. Angle. Just an angle. There's talk of the Rose, uh, Adam Rose versus the bunny as the kickoff match. Don't we all? Uh, Survivor do, Series. Do we want a bunny? Do we want a, like, I had Boone last night. I'm typing on the computer like we talked about earlier. Boone's going, the bunny just hit a drop kick. You oh keep my saying God. Drop kick. I don't think that's what it was. Or whatever. The whatever it was, was. I was like, dude, look, the bunny. Look, the, the bunny. bunny. Fuck the bunny. Keep Happy Veterans Day, by the way. I the forgot today was better. Yes. And by the way, thank you to uh, all servicemen, past and present. Who's uh, the sergeant at SmackDown? Dan Rose. Dan Rose. Yeah. Yeah, he did right. the He got up in, uh, in Albany. Yeah. That was awesome, man. We so thank you. We, we should have stayed for that, man. Thank you. Uh, I know. I know. We really should. Yeah. Um, they, uh, thank you to uh, all you servicemen and women, uh, past and present. You guys are awesome. True heroes. So... John Morgan says, when are you guys going to convince Roddy Piper to put in a good word with Rowdy Ronda Rousey so you can get her on WZR for Boone to interview her? Piper said recently that uh, Rowdy, Ronda Rousey, okay. had called him up and was very polite, asked for permission to use the Rowdy yeah. moniker uh, yeah. during her fights. Yeah. And uh, he said absolutely. She was very polite. She was. That was yeah. my story. Ronda Rousey is basically <clears throat> a mark for pro wrestling, wrestling and exactly. Rowdy Piper. Yeah. Well, right. that and they both have a uh, uh, judo Jean LaBelle as a mentor. Right. Yeah. They both, he, right. he trained them both. So cool. Kind of taught them how to fight. Vincent Nugent, what do you guys think about the crazy relationship formed between Britney and Samuel Shaw on Impact Wrestling? I haven't as seen of it. Late? Yeah. Man, you know it's like Sam Shaw and Christy Hemi. Sam Shaw Christy and Hemi Britney. Is fucking. Scary hot. hot. Scary hot. For a redhead. Good it's God. It's not often you see redheads. I think it's a fake redhead, by the way. Redheads that are she's really a hot, you know? I think she's a brunette who dies right? Really? Well, I hot. think. She's smoking hot. You know who else is insane? Eva Marie is insanity. Yeah, absolutely. Fucking gross. It's gross absolutely. how hot she is. All it's red all the time. It's not even fair, man. All red all the time. Yeah. She says all red everything. All red everything. And you know who else? Cameron. From the Funkadactyls. I don't know about that. Fuck me, she's hot, bro. When I watch Total Divas, oh, good God, it, it touched. It's yeah. insane. I get frustrated Tell watching that something. show. It's too much. My man Dean Ambrose. Yeah. Renee Young's insane, Renee too. Renee Young. I am She's so goddamn you, cute bro. and sweet, though. Dean like, Ambrose is the luckiest dude in the world. I'm telling you, Renee Young is so hot. And you know what? She's a cool 
chick, man. And she's great at, her, at wrestling. You she's can, like, yeah. You can tell that she's, like, outside of wrestling, you can tell that she's a really cool fun. chick. Yeah. She's fun. You know she's, she's Canadian? Cool. Yes. Oh. She used to work for, uh, for, uh, with, uh, Arda. Al- o- Arda Ocal, yeah. Fight Arda Network. Ocal. Yeah. Right, on the Fight Network. We've last got the one, last one from, you gotta read this. My Who's girl! It? My oh, this is her girl. first ever appearance on the. Uh, I think on the rapid fire, that's right? That's a picture of her too, ain't it? Uh, there she is. Jacqueline Harder yeah. is uh, up next. Jackie. We got Jacqueline, uh, Ryan, and Matt. Uh, it's Jackie here. Who will be the last two members for Team Authority and Team Cena? We got them all announced. Right? We got all Cena, but there's one left on Authority, and I'm thinking Randy Orton, maybe. I'm thinking maybe Triple H. Yeah, Team Authority. I don't know. Maybe he does. I don't know. He'll come out of uh, and you know. Jackie, we put all the names up on the website. It says spoiler. We put them up uh, yesterday. It says spoiler. The names revealed for Team Cena and. Uh, it's not a spoiler Cena anymore. It was from Raw. It was from Raw. So right. It's, right. It's cool to say. Now. But they're up on the website. Yeah. So well, check it out. John Cena, Jack Swagger, Sheamus, Big Show, Dolph Ziggler. That's versus that. Seth Rollins, Kane. Rock, uh, Rusev, I'm sorry, and Mark Henry with one spot remaining. With one spot remaining. You got yeah. it. All right. Jackie, sorry we couldn't Swagger's take phone the calls one I always tonight. forget. Yeah. So now yeah. I got it. Uh, sorry we couldn't take uh, phone calls tonight, Jackie. We'll get at you next Tuesday night, though, 8 to 10 Eastern time. We're going to work on the uh, production stuff with the phone calls. Yeah. and uh, We're, we're actually going to be able this. to fix this a little better. We're going to get this yeah. a little bit faster so you guys don't see that. Clearer, you know, that little bigger, bit of, brighter, better. A little bit of yeah. blurriness. So anyways, um, listen, it's good to be back here. I know we did the audio the, you know, last Wednesday or Thursday, Thursday. whatever it was, and uh, then we weren't here the week before, and there's been a couple of weeks we haven't been here, so... So it's good to be back. It's and this uh, fucking shit right here, but now that we're on this one, we're good to go. Fuck to Sheba. Yeah. Uh, anyways, uh, we will Why see you, you guys. Fuck our sponsor. They give us money to do this show. Yeah, they give us. Why else are we advertising them so blatantly? <laughs> Come on, man. One of these times, dude. Uh, yeah. When we go off the air, I'm just gonna boom. I'll kill you. Right? Yeah. As I ever move here, I need to use this piece of shit again. <laughs> Anyways, listen, guys. We will uh, see you next Tuesday night. Thanks to everybody that uh, came out, as always, tonight. Happy Veterans Day to uh, all you guys uh, and the current and past servicemen uh, in the military, Navy, Army, whatever, uh, wherever you're stationed. And uh, I know some people are probably listening to us from... Absolutely. We've been told that there's uh, they get the internet access and they listen. Right, yeah. right. So you guys are awesome, and uh, we appreciate uh, everything that you guys do to keep our country um, as free as it is today. Number one country in the world. United Kingdom, you're number right. two. Eh, Canada's number right three or two. two. Ah, they're all right there. Uh, we shouldn't be ranking. Them. Ah, they're, they're all right there with us. We're all tired. All right, guys. We will uh, see you next Tuesday night, 8 to 10 Eastern Time, WZROnline.com. Submit some feedback. Tell them. Me? How? You, you want me to tell them? Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> you go to Facebook.com slash Ryan Clark WZR, that's Facebook.com slash Ryan Clark WZR. Get over there, or mine, Facebook.com slash Matt Boone WZR, Facebook.com slash Matt Boone WZR. We want your feedback, we want your questions, or not questions, we want your comments and your feedback. Let us know what you like, we'll do more of it. Let us know what you didn't like, we'll do less of it. That's how we make the show exactly what you want to hear and see each and every motherfucking Tuesday night. Ryan, get us the motherfucker out of here. Love you, mofos. See you next Tuesday night, 8 10 Eastern Time, WZROnline.com. Boom! Uh, boom! That's me! Uh, this is Ryan Clark. That's him. See you next Tuesday night, 8 10 Eastern Will. Time, WZROnline.com. Salute to the veterans. Started